What's up, chat? Yo! We up in there now. <clears throat> All right. Test, test, one, two. Testies, testies, one, two. Oh, yeah. How is everything? It looks like levels are good. How's everything sounding? What's up? What's up? What's up? Jacob, Raz, Nico, Silas, Agent Thubcap. What's happening, everybody? Atticus? Yo. Yo, you like that, Tom? Heck yeah. We got the Nintendo 64 shirt on. We're rocking it tonight. What's happening, everybody? We got some new lights in the background, too. What do you guys think of the, uh, what do you guys think of the vibes here? We can like mix it up. We can do like all sorts of things with this light now. It's not the, it's still not the same. It's not the light. It's not the right lighting fixture that I want, but it's definitely, definitely a big improvement. Just getting those bulbs in there looks so much better. Should we do like, look at that, like blood moon or nebula? We can do like all sorts of silly, stupid stuff in the background. What do you guys think? I kind of like the one I had, the Tokyo. Tokyo. And then turn this shit up. Oh yeah. What's up guys? What's up early chat crew? You know we showed leaks to the early chat crew. Yeah, we actually, these are the Hue lights and then I also have LifeX lights. So, <laughs> Nico, thank you very much for the host. I appreciate that. New lights and no new editor. You know, I'm, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm delayed with everything, right? I, I haven't forgotten about you, Nico. I appreciate your tenacious nature. We'll get there. I promise you, we'll get there. Um, so we've got, we've got like little stupid things we need to do at the start of the night. So I'm just gonna chat with you guys here for a minute while, while people roll in. Let me show you what we're doing to start. So we've got the 910, you guys remember from Thursday. That is going to be our case tonight again. We're building another one up, but it's gonna be a completely different build. Uh, it is... <laughs> It is the date of Sam, the creator of TGR. It is the date of his anniversary. So September 10th is the date Sam uh, and his wife got married. 9-10. No, Nico, this is um, this right here. What's up, Yeffy? Good to see you, my dude. What's good? That's the, this is the RME. This is the RME baby face, or the, this is the RME, uh, this is the Addy 2. That's the Addy 2 there. With my larger than life Furutech cable. So this thing, the Furutech connector. Um, and then I've got the, the baby faces over here. That's my, my controller. This is like way over the top. The audio equipment that you're looking at, like way, 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 way over the top. None of this stuff is required for keyboard streaming. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow there, Khaled. I appreciate that. We, uh, we've got probably some newer people in chat that have been looking at Instagram. I ran uh, with, with, I don't know if you guys have noticed, um, let's see if he's announced the winner yet. If he has not, you guys might have some time still to take advantage. If you guys have not yet gone to, let's see here, Project Keyboard, let's see if he's announced the winner yet. Let's see. Ah, the winner has been announced. Z-H-Q-B-B-Q. Z-H-Q-B-U-B-U is the winner of the, the, the GMK Bingsu set. I hope you guys were in Discord. I hope you guys noticed that. We gave away, we gave away a GMK Bingsu set just over this weekend. 
<laughs> lightning raid pog is lightning raiding me what's up Heine? good to see you brother oh lightning's raiding me that is a pog what's up everybody you guys are coming from like one nine ten to another nine ten good to see you everyone hello hello welcome chat we are we are just getting started you guys have got perfect timing here we are we are rebuilding this board tonight with some alpacas so if you guys like the 910 you just watched i'm gonna give you guys one more typing sounds test with this one this is a 910 built up with tangerine switches that we just built up on uh, on thursday and so this man's headphones are pretty cool thanks man these are the a-list these are the zmf a-list uh headphones so they're pretty they're pretty nice look they got like the wood grain on them and everything yeah they're fun thank you so much for the cheers there for the 11 bits john thank you i appreciate that and thank you it's crunchy time for the follow thank you for the one bit there we made it an even 12 bits there we go that's what i'm talking about john thank you so much you guys lightning what's good dude i saw you for a second there dude i love the emo the emojis what do we got here is this a is this a lightning meow go high? Oh no, this isn't this isn't yours, is it? Is it are these your emotes? These are your emojis? Thank you very much though. Appreciate that. I uh, I was muted when I was watching you there for a second on your 910. How did the build turn out? So I need to remind uh, my client here, who I'm building for tonight, what plate we're gonna be using. Um, we've got uh, one of the original uh, 910 plates here, I think. And then we also have this custom plate. You need to remind me, Tom, what we're, what we're doing here this evening. Hit me up in DM since chat's a little crazy right now. Uh, what amp am I running? Uh, so I'm using the Adi2, uh, the ID2 DAC. Uh, it's actually an amp and DAC in one. Uh, it's this guy right over here. Nice. So what did you, uh, dude? That's awesome. I love those. I love those emotes. Very cool. And happy Monday to you, Pizza Forest. Good to see you. Yeah, and thank you so much for the follows there, everybody. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Digital screen adds plus 10 clout. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. What did you, uh, chef's fingers? It's lit. That's right. As those kids say. I don't know what the kids say. I'm a boomer. <laughs> okay, boomer. What is the switch you went with there tonight, Diego? New PCB and palm plate, which I think is the all black one. Yep, so this is the FR4 one that I'm stealing from you, Tom. And then this is the palm plate, which we'll be using in the build tonight. And then the new PCB is this guy here, I'm assuming. Oh, look at this craziness on this PCB. It's got the insane LEDs here. Let's see if these work right off the bat. Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. All right, I don't know if you guys can see this. The intensity is very much so intense. It's like blinding me. These are multiple LEDs. So these all light up different colors. So the 910, if you see the 910 with how I have it here, if my client has something similar, this would light up all sorts of different colors. Oh, use Nixies in this one? Ooh, that's insane, Diego. Nice, that's what's up. What's up, Dan Millman? What's my favorite switch? Um, if I'm talking linears, it's probably uh, probably like a vintage black. If I'm talking tactiles, it's probably something lighter, like maybe a vintage brown. Oops, sorry. There's my alarm to tell me to go to go put the cover on my grill. I already did that. Yeah, sorry about that. All right, so here's what we're building on tonight. We're gonna to be building a new school 910. So you guys just saw the old school 910. 
This is going to be the new school. This is going to be the JWK linears. We're going to be using the alpaca switches tonight. We're going to be using a palm plate, a little bit of flex to this guy. And we're going to be using this new, this brand new PCB here. So real quick, before we get into that, I'm going to do, before we strip this, because I need to mail this to the client I just built it for. Here's my 910, by the way. This is what, this is what I normally have my 910 in. And these are a set of, these are a set of West German vents. So very similar, this is going to be very similar to the Nixdorf's. So like, this is like, this is my build here. But this is the one we built for a client just last week. So let me go ahead and unmute this real quick. And I'll let y'all listen to this one. So these are tangies. So a JWK linear. So I would assume you would have a pretty similar sound to what you're listening to right now, tonight. What you're hearing right there is probably gonna be pretty similar. But yeah, so Ramen Champ, mine is currently built with West Germans and uh, my supplier global is, um, is Woden. So I get, I've gotten my vintage, my G80 West Germans from Woden in the past. I haven't run a buy from him in quite some time. But yeah, these are these are some of my nicer vents. I've got some other nice vents in this board right here. This is my unicorn. These are also G8 vents. I should have muted this. So you know chat when I don't have the keyboard plugged in and I'm doing something that sounds like I'm typing I'm typing whatever you guys type into chat so I just typed what you put into chat Yuffie <laughs> uh, if you can find West German Vins go for it good luck good luck in the hunt um okay so yeah so tonight Without further ado, we're gonna start getting into some, we're gonna do some work. We're gonna get that work in. Oh, I say that and at the same time, I've gotta show stuff off first. Oh my goodness. I've gotta show stuff off first and I've gotta also explode keycaps out of their tray. Any. All right, chat, you're not gonna wanna go anywhere. We have got, we've got some prototypes to show you. Look at this, I just made a mess of this tray. Rip. Let me get some Fs in chat. This is like worse than, this is worse than knocking over your artisan box. I just completely, I completely demolished my Oblivion set. Everything was all in order and now it's, now as you can see, it's a damned mess. <laughs> ay ay ay. It was all so neat. Um, oh my goodness. goes there. Page up goes there. Chat. Do you want to know? Let me just tell you. Do you want me to kill the suspense by telling you what I'm about to show you? Or should I let the suspense contain you? 
We are now zero days without difficulties. You know that's the truth, Yuffie. <laughs> that, that remains true. I forever am destroying myself in some way, shape, or form. Alright, that looks good. Thank you so much for the tier one there, Dan. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. <sighs> suspense. Keep the suspense going, huh? All right, well, know this, chat. If you stick with me through this mind-boggling process now of restoring order in this GMK case, you will be rewarded with a first look. I've got I've got prototypes to show off that have not yet been seen. Why did I how did I manage this? It's impressive. It's actually it's actually impressive how I managed this. Um, oh my goodness. It is it's a 65%. It's actually very similar to it's actually very similar to the 910. That might that might give you that might have been too good of a hint. Let's see. Do we have any guesses? It is not a descent. Descent? Descent? Huh? Yeffy yeah, thinks he knows what it is. Yo, Keybon, Keybon me. Thank you for the two months. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Seven, eight, nine. Almost done there. Here's our decimal. Now I just need the enter key. You know what? I bet the enter key got lost somewhere in that shelf. I bet you the enter key is in here still. I got my flashlight now. Yep. Sure enough. We did it, chat. We did it. Case proto? No, it's not a case. It's not a case. It is not a TKL. It is not a TKL. All right, we're gonna put these keycaps away now. You guys, you guys have time. You guys have time to figure it out. What do you guys think about that case, though? The case is pretty cool looking. I love, I love Thax's stream. Thax has been going nuts. Yeah, Yeffy, these are new. You like that look? These are brand new. The light is still the same. I still want to get I still want to get that different light. But the but the LEDs are new. I also want to turn this down. Make it so it's a little cooler in my house. Turn that down a notch. Boom. So as mentioned, you guys, if you were early, you heard it. These are the tangerines in an aluminum. This is the default aluminum plate that comes with the TGR, or that came with the earlier round TGRs, I should say. The later round TGRs came with um, came with a uh, brass plate for many of them. So this is these are the ones that came with like the earlier day ones. Put my, put my bongo away, put my popsy skull away, 
and my watcher. Have you guys seen this cat? I love this one. The watcher. That thing is maniacal. Look at those fingernails. And now it's like pulling the eyelids down. That thing is crazy polished. Wait, just change. Change them to Miami colors and perfect? <laughs> the ones in the background? No way, dude. This is actually, the ones that are in the background right now, this is called Tokyo. I don't know if it reminds me of Tokyo, but I love the warm and the cool combination. I think that's pretty cool. Would you say that retool blacks work nicely in a KVD-75 with a brass plate? Uh, yeah, I'd say retool blacks work nicely in just about in just about everything. Um, have you already gone in on the KVD-75 with said brass plate? Because I'd maybe recommend an aluminum plate over brass, but if you've already gone in, not that big of a deal. There are too many, there are just too many keycaps for this tray. I need to get a baggie of extras for this. Hey, thank you very much for the follow there. Milcam, I appreciate that. Milcam. Like, I'm not gonna have enough space for this space bar. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna fill this whole thing up here. And then the space bar will just sit outside the case. That's the big brain move. That's the big brain move for sure. That goes there, that goes there. Oh, it was like it was meant to be. That's perfect. Yo, there we go. There we go. Now we just need to put the alphas away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you should gamble all. I have it working now. It's no longer rigged. You should try gambling. Gambling a smaller amount, though. Yeah, there you go, 150. <laughs> Let's see if, uh... Let's see if the gambling actually does does its job tonight. Thank you very much for the for the sub there for the tier one Persian king. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. I swear, I've yeah. See, people are winning now. It's no longer rigged at all. It's no longer rigged. I turned the rigging completely off, so it's better now. I had no idea what rigged meant, because I'm an idiot. I was like, I was like, but the rigged is at 50%. That means it should only be like, it should be 50-50. Having rigged up to anything above zero makes it rigged to some percentage. <laughs> I don't know what. So I think you have like a 50-50% chance with me having it at zero, which is what it's at right now. I can't give you any better odds than 50-50. <laughs> the bot also times out a little bit. Okay, so now that we're now that it's working, I think after this month, I'm going to reset it. And then for the month of November, when December 1st rolls around, whoever is the number one monthly point leader will get something. Like a free build service or something. We'll do something for that winner. So all you, all you degenerates who enjoy gambling in my stream, there's now incentive to, to be number one. <laughs> all right, so Oblivion is all boxed up. We're good to go there. We need to take this guy out the case. All right, let's have a little bit of a break first. Let's have a little break before we, before we take this plate out of here. Let me show you the first unboxing, the first prototype that we got. All right, so it's a 65%. Are there any more guesses? Does anyone else want to take a guess before I show this thing off? You guys might have seen it before. It is not an Iron 65. It is a prototype, so that thing is actually out already. 
It is not a Noxery. Zondat doesn't like me. Zondat would not send me a prototype. Uh, chat, what do you think? Or perhaps, or perhaps this might answer something? Nope, this is something you would not have seen before. Uh, does that corner answer anything? It is not a Vega. It is not a Think 6.5. It is pink. Uh, there's another corner. Polaris, no? All right, here it is. Who's gonna be first? I'm showing off the corner that'll tell you what it is. <laughs> the house. The house is in, chat. The house is in. <laughs> How pretty is this pink? And take a look at this. So you like the Bauhaus logo? You've got like a duck poker style weight with this with the with the Bauhaus triangle square circle popping through the middle as well. <laughs> Let me show you guys a better view here. Look at the, do you guys see the space bar cutouts? <laughs> do you guys see the space bar cutouts on the plate? Sorry, my light is really, uh, my light is really bright right now because I was evening out my light box a minute ago. So, but yeah, you can see on the back of it here. So Lewis is going through a couple of different design choices right now. Excuse the fingerprints there right underneath the A and U. That's just a fingerprint of mine. That's not actually something on the case. So you can see right now there's only the four mounting points on this guy, um, which is going to be interesting. We're gonna be doing some testing on that to see if we get any of the, so like if you push the plate down, you don't hear any rattle really on this thing. So if you if you were to do, I was nervous at first, and one of the things that, that Lewis was looking at with the manufacturer is that by not having any hardware mounting points like here and here where my where my thumbs and index fingers are, making sure that their connection points were good enough so that you wouldn't get any reverberation. Because as it stands right now, there's only mounting points here, 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 and here. Now, he has another prototype where he does have those. However, we didn't like the idea, I say we, he didn't like the idea, this is all his, of putting screws here in the actual weight. And kind of thinking out, you know, loud, figuring out how to do like hidden screws underneath the weight, kind of has a difficulty there because, I don't know if you can see this, where that weight ends and where this seam is, do you see how the screw is back so far? It'd be difficult to have, it'd be difficult to have that there. That might clip a little bit. Um, but hey, keep on, thank you so much again for, uh, for hanging out with us here for a little bit. Have a wonderful evening as well. This is a, this is a, uh, this is a top mount. However, there is, um, there is a gasket with it. And so I'm gonna be doing some testing on the gasket as well. Let me show you guys these plates too. All right, not the plates, the PCB, you guys see the plate. So here's a, a gasket potentially. Now this is not, this is probably not going to be the production prototype. This is not for the production PCB, um, but, but we do have, um, we do have some, 
Team McLovin. Team McLovin. The house prototype. Hey, wait, gasket insta unsub. Um, so the gasket we've got here might be thick enough, might need to be thicker. We're gonna do a little bit of testing on this one, and we're also gonna do a little bit of testing with the top mount when we build this this uh, this up. So, anyways, there's the first of the uh, of the of the prototype sort of new builds we're gonna be looking at tonight. Um, I'm really excited to get into this. I'm very excited. Uh, the only other person that I know of who's, in terms of a builder, who's built one of these is Cohen. Cohen Romer's built one. Um, turned out really nice from what I can see. Um, his, however, was built with a 910 PCB and plate, which had fitment issues in the first round prototype that came. And so there is needing to be a little bit of work done on that to completely close out that build. Um, so last I checked with uh, with Lewis, that was still sort of pending. Um, but this one, this one should not have that issue, obviously, because we have we have the house PCB and the house plate for this thing. So this will be the first one. This will be the first one. Ooh, yeffy. This will be the first one that uh, that has been built stateside and that has been built with the PCB in plate that, that Lewis might actually end up using. So early round prototype, we'll see what happens. But uh, but yeah, we'll have fun with this one. We're gonna build this up on Thursday. So make sure you guys mark your calendars and plan on tuning in. Look at that weight too, one more time. Ooh, so good. Yeffy, you degenerate. Lots of people are losing. The odds are in your favor now to win if you gamble. You gotta keep doubling my bets or you'll never... Well, you'll get it back if you just, you know, watch my stream. <laughs> That's one surefire way to get points. All right. So here, if you guys stuck around with me, here's the true poggers moment with this 910. So this is my this is my personal 910. This is what makes it a one of three. So specifically that engrave. Doubling till I win? Oh my god, Yeffy. Jesus. You don't have you have to go all in on the next one. Well, we're not doing anything with the points this time around either, so... I swear, I've got the rigging turned off completely. I don't know why everyone loses. Good luck, Yeffy. Gotta go all in with this last one. The Doge, the Doge is wondering if you should be going in on this one, Yeffy. You won! <laughs> You're back to it! <laughs> that was the one you needed there. That was the one you needed. See, a true, a true degenerate like myself just gambles all in every single time. I think I've gambled away a total of, God, probably, probably 20,000 Simon coins in, uh, in, in Black Simon's chat. Oh man. See, some people are winning. Definitely you're losing more often than you're winning though. So, I don't know if I would recommend, I don't know if I would recommend the gambling route here, folks. So per usual, I do not mount my 910s with the top mount. And so what you were listening to, if you, if you heard it, the tangerine build, that was mounted with uh, with just uh, some liner. I have a toolbox liner that I use. Pretty thin, but uh, you know I think it turns out pretty nicely. Gives it a good sound. 
Look how many people are losing. I swear. Hold on. Let me go. Let me go real quick over to stream elements. I feel bad that you guys are losing so much. I've got the rigging turned all the way down. I swear. Hold on. Mo is it modules or chat command? I think it's modules. Modules and then roulette. How rigged should your system be? It is set to zero. Minimum amount, one, chat roulette. User countdown is 60 and global cooldown is zero. Okay, there we go. I have it set. I have it set to like no rigging. There's no rigging. You guys should be okay. You are lying? Zero for five? Only thing you can do is keep trying. The house always wins, you know that. Where do your max oofs go when you lose them though? That's the question. Who gets them? I don't get any of them. All right, let's see, did I get them all? I did. I got them all. Okay. I'm going to move the hardware that I took out and put it right back in there. And I'm going to move my case over here. All right, so we will need this for later. And this goes to the client we just built for last week. Um, hey Tom, are you in here? Um, we're about to test the PCB here in a minute. Um, and uh, and so I wanted to check in with you um, and say real quick, kind of a similar pink too. The TGR pink is a little bit darker. TGR pink is so good. All right, should we do another unboxing real quick before we start getting into stabilizer tuning? I think we should. Let me go get my knife. You might need to uh, you might need to wait. It's on a 60 second cooldown. All right, let me open this up. I actually just got this today, so I'm not gonna DOS myself by opening it up on camera. What is that board worth? Um, oh, Vinan, uh, the headphones are the ZMF Aeolus. A-E-O-L-O-U-O-U-O-U-O-U-S. <laughs> Aeolus, however the hell they spell Aeolus. Uh, what is that board worth? The 910, I'm assuming you're talking about? The 910 is uh, probably, I don't know. I mean, I've gotten some pretty silly offers on that board. I've gotten some pretty silly offers. I don't know what, I don't know what it would actually be worth. Yeah, so Lewis put up a, a post here earlier that yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be something that'll be more accessible here. Um, and so, yeah, so definitely, ooh, chat, here's a PCB, we've got some stabilizers in here for it too, I need to move the stabilizers and stuff aside, those stickers would let you know, those stickers would give away the surprise, 
Let me move this to the side as well. Oh, we've got another. Yep, we've got it. We've got another good one. This one looks pretty. All right, chat. Hold on. I'm not even going to show you the PCB yet. I'm going to show you the PCB next. Let's open. Let's open this case up first. Case first. I don't know how much it'll retail though for ramen. Uh, so I'll have more. So on Thursday when I build that, I'll have more of like the salesman information for you guys. I'll have a full build command that will actually detail all the information for the house, where you can get it, when you can get it, and how much it'll be. Pretty much everything that Lewis wants me to tell, uh, I will. I will divulge. And so yeah. So I don't. I don't. I haven't had that conversation with him yet. So I'm sorry about that. Oh, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. I'm not typically one for these kinds of builds, but this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. So chat. Thank you so much for the tier one there, Ramen. Chat, have you heard of the Molly? I have used T1s. I have used T1s. So chat, have you heard of the Molly? Heine, what's good, Heine? This is this is your type of board. <laughs> yeah, so this Molly is um look at that daughter board peeking through too. You got the key company branded daughter board there. Was this a was this a Heine? I like the opposite of this. Was did you work on this PCB Heine? Oh okay okay. I've heard this chonker. <laughs> yeah, this thing is huge. Look at that. Look at the. You can see my yeah. You can see my light box there. Oh, can we find my camera? There's my camera. <laughs> this thing is. Heavy too. <laughs> okay, I got gotcha. you. So yeah, so you've got the mirror polished uh, badging here. Now, there's nothing on this one. Um, I think you have the option to like get something engraved there. Um, but yeah, this thing. Look at the seam on this thing. Look at that edge. It's a cool, it's a cool design from the standpoint um, that, uh, and I think this one, Jason was telling me this one had some anodization issues on it from the warehouse. So you can see a little bit of issues on this one on the side. I need to take a microfiber to this and see if it's issues or if it's not. Um, this has, this has a USB-C with a USB-A out. So you can charge your phone, you can, um, you can plug in, you can plug in your mouse, you can, you know, whatever. It's a, it's a USB 3.1 standard USB charger. So it'll do, it'll do fast charge. I don't know if it does fast charging. Um, but, but yeah, so basically you've got a, you've got a working, you know, solid power USB port on this, on this keyboard. We're gonna weigh this thing. Take a look at this though. Look at that weight. It's the same thing, another mirror polished weight. So it's like, it's like beveled on all edges with the larger, you know, wedge, like, you know, giving you the angle. Again, this is a combination of me getting fingerprints and then I think also maybe a little bit of the case having anodization issues. Yeah, mostly, mostly me getting fingerprints on it though. <laughs> All right, let's weigh this thing. This thing is heavy. Let's see how heavy.
It's a cool silver though. I like the silver stainless. Oh wait, whoops. I always do that. I always turn it off on accident right after I get it started. All right, so this keyboard weighs seven pounds and six ounces, unbuilt. Seven pounds, six ounces. And here is the PCB. Oh, you know what? The PCB was made by the same guy who did the van PCBs. That's who it was. It's kind of like cool. It's like edged in uh, that, not gold, but whatever that is. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is the same guy. This is the same guy who did like, uh, what was that? Uh, what was that PCB Heine? The one with, uh, the one with Bobby from King of the Hill on it. What was that PCB called? I know you're gonna remember the name of that thing. Was it the... It wasn't the meme. What was the PCB called? <laughs> no, it wasn't propane. It was... It was a... It was a... I think it was a 60% PCB that they sold. can't remember the name of it though and it had all sorts of crazy images on it just images out the wazoo what's up dodo good to see you buddy i'm good yeah we're having a uh we're having a good stream tonight just unboxing some things and getting through uh getting through a couple of first looks here we're just about to start the actual build for tonight. So, uh, so yeah, we looked at the Molly. We looked at the uh, the house. You missed the house uh, prototype there, Dodo. All right. So this build, the Molly build, will be at some point next week, I do believe. And that'll be that'll be another fun one. I think we're gonna have. Uh, I think like a terminal build planned for one of these, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember what. And then, yeah, I think there's some other, I think there's some other prototypes heading my way as well soon. But that's it for tonight. Those are my mail days. What have you got, chat? Anyone get anything juicy lately? Working with anything cool? All right. Yeah, that Molly is thick, very thick. Oh, I want to build a thermal. I actually don't have a thermal confirmed yet. I would love to build someone's thermal. That's awesome. I'm glad those are finally starting to ship. That'll be really cool, Venon. Finally got the guinea I ordered in like July. What's the guinea? I'm not sure I've heard of that one. <laughs> 40s discords that aren't muted. You're getting notified out the wazoo, huh? Uh, yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, I'm assuming it's the I'm assuming it's the guinea that you were the aforementioned guinea. Please. Anything keyboard related, yeah, by all means, feel free to link. Um, okay, let me put my knife away before I accidentally cut something. We're good with the keycap puller. Um, okay, so I wanted to ask, of course, Tom, you messaged me, and then when you did, I wasn't paying attention. Um, we are, correct me if I'm wrong, we are using my stabilizers for this one, right? We're using a set of the N9, um, the N9 C3s, right? With some of the black wires, or did you want, or did you want Duroc? Okay, cool. 
all blacked out. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so I've got that. There's that. Here's your switches here. We're using the alpacas tuned up from our resident luber, Milk. Milk, are you in chat tonight? I haven't seen you. I haven't seen if Milk is here tonight. But these are gonna be tuned up with 205 G0 as well as a TX uh, sticker. I believe we've got, I think we have the black stickers on these. I believe they're all black. Let me see if I can find out. Yep, these are black stickers on these. The tattoo desk mat. Oh yeah, I love this one. I was talking last week, uh, maybe, that um, we're gonna try and get, oh, here's the guinea. Let me take a look here. We were gonna try and get the, oh, this thing's, this thing's funny. This thing's out there, man. This thing's way out there. Oh, oops, hold on, I have it on the wrong screen. There's the guinea. Sorry, chat, I have the wrong display capture on. Let me, uh, let me see if I can fix that display capture. Let's do properties and display two, done. There we go. There's the proper one. And now I can see what I'm sharing too. There's the guinea. So what is this thing? 10 fingers, 10 buttons. You can't get much more ergo than that. <laughs> I mean, that's true. <laughs> this one's built with like those low pro, those low pro chiclet ones. The chalk, the chalk switches, right? That's pretty wild. <laughs> All right. Did you see my, did you guys see my weeb shortcut? <laughs> I started playing that last night. <laughs> uh, it uses steno firmware. Does it? Does it? Interesting. AIO3 finally announced a group buy date for the Andromeda. Ooh, on the 24th of October at Canning Keys. Price expensive. Uh, that sounds about right, Gnarly Charlie. <laughs> AIO3 is worth it though. AIO3 is a great designer. Um, yeah, I've never, um, I've never used a stenographer board. Have you guys ever tried that? Has you guys, have you guys ever tried a stenography board? Be kind of out there. I remember seeing somebody, um, I remember seeing somebody, I was looking on like, you remember 10 Fast Fingers? Now, b before everyone started using monkey type, this is how you guys know I'm a boomer keyboard builder. 10 Fast Fingers, like nobody uses that anymore. But you remember how they had the community elements of it where you could see other people who were currently typing? I remember seeing one day that somebody had posted like a 300 word per minute score and I was like, I was like, oh, well that guy's, that guy's hacking. Um, and I went to his profile and, uh, and he was averaging in like the 250s to 300s. I was like, what in the world? And the guy had the full profile like decked out with information. He was like, he was like, yep, so I'm using a stenography board. I do this for a living. And so, yeah, so he goes on to like 10 fast fingers and like type racer and stuff and would use, if you guys don't know what I'm doing, I'm just wiping all the flux off of this mat <laughs> so that I don't get it on anything. Um, uh, he would use the stenography board and he was just that fast at it. Um, kind of crazy. But it allows you to it like it allows you to type syllables, right? You're not typing you're not typing letters per se. You're typing sounds more so, and so you're able to type out full sentences with very limited key presses. Like, and you can type them in like combo. So like you could type a sentence out, and this could be the sentence. Like hitting like that, like two fingers there and like, I have like three fingers and like, like, I mean, this could be a full sentence and that would be it. Like, yeah, stenography is crazy. Yeah, so I have no, 
you have to be like an organist to play or to to play it kind of is like playing an organist to like use a stenography board it's definitely that's an art form for sure all right so there's our stabilizers there's our pcb and plate there's our switches so we are ready chat we've got our our new age 910 build tonight we've got the old school 910 here We've got the new school 910 with the tangerines that just came out of the 910 case. And we've got the, the new school build part two going in. Oh, some keyboards. Thank you for dropping by, man. You have a wonderful evening yourself. Thank you for stopping by for a second. Good to see you. Okay, but do I get chicken nuggies? Sure. Roll on with them chicken nuggies. <laughs> Nico, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm getting memed on, and I don't know again because I'm a boomer. All right, we're doing a one U. We're doing a split backspace for tonight. So I need a right shift and an enter key. And I believe that's it. Right shift and an enter key. This guy has some like residual grease on the plate from when it was used before, I think. What are the best stabs? Uh, currently, Currently, I like C3 the most. Um, all right, so 7U, right, Tom? 7U spacebar? Or do you want the 6.25? Are we going full heresy with a 6.25 bottom row? Or are we doing the 7? 6.25. You want me to do 6.25? Okay, so 6.25. I'm gonna charge you. I'm gonna charge you half of what I normally do for stabilizers, Tom. Instead of charging you ten dollars for the stabilizer set, I will charge you five dollars because you just left two of the two use for me, and you left the only spacebar stabilizer I use. <laughs> so you just saved yourself five dollars. <laughs> or were you joking? Tom is chatting with me on Discord, by the way. <laughs> That's right. If you're hunting for deals. Okay, cool. Link me, do me a favor and link me a 910 that has that layout on it so I can remember which it is. I know it's got a, I know it's got a, a myriad of 1.25s on the bottom row, but I want to make sure I do the right thing. So make sure, cross check me on it. If you don't mind. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, yes, cool. And I need to put these guys, you know what? I'm just gonna put these guys back in this bag. So this will be a different layout than what we did last time too. We'll have a 6.25 instead of the normal 7U that I do on this guy. Tom, do you want to go full full madness and do a split space bar? The split space bars I've done on the 910 in the past have worked really well too. Take a look at the split space bar layouts and see if that's too much for you or if you might be interested. If you're interested in that, I've never had a split space bar go bad with the 910. The space bar we had on the tangerine build went really well, actually. We did Durox on that. That one went really well. So I would be very happy if we got a similar or if not better result on this one tonight. I think the best we can hope for is similar because that one was really nice. Thank you for following there, Chinmonology. All right. I have heard of the Duroc stabilizers having the wire pop out. The Duroc stabilizers do not have 
anti-wire pop-out technology. They're not equipped. <laughs> anti-wire pop-out technology. That's, that's a newer technology that is creme de la creme. Engineers can't figure it out. It eludes them. It eludes them nine out of 10 times. The C3 stabilizers, they figured it out though. The C3 stabilizers figured it out at the cost of you no longer being able to use garbage bag keycaps. So it's a win-win. And the version two even allows you to use garbage bag keycaps. So, you know, I mean, C3 is just bringing the power to the people. <laughs> and that lost all my viewers. Everyone's like, this guy's an asshole. <laughs> uh, so these are C3 V2s though. And so dress that thing up in PBT caps. Dress it on up. Do what you want. And this one, I don't know if you guys have seen C3. This has anti-wire pop-out technology. Look at that. That thing grabs your wire. Do you see the entry for that? It's difficult to pop a wire into there. The wire doesn't even pop in. How the hell is it going to pop out? That's a big brain move right there. If you can't even get the wire in, it's never going to pop out. Yep. The C3 stabilizers are your only stabilizers equipped with anti-wire pop-out technology. Or, or pro-wire pop-out technology. Yeah, that's the, that's the one. <laughs> hey, Yeffy, are you still here? Because I got something for you. Let me see if I can find something here real quick. Let's see what it would be. I don't think they actually have, oh, you know what they have, Yeffy? They have a Palm Beach. I don't think they have a Miami. You wanna see Palm Beach, Yeffy? There's, there's Palm Beach. <laughs> Here's Tropical, Tropical Night, that's not it. Osaka. Soho? That's not it. We need to find, we need to find, uh, we need to find a Yeffy colorway. That's kind of, there it is, Yeffy. We found it. <laughs> we found it, Yeffy. There's your, there's your Miami theme. Okay. Enough messing around. All right, Tom, you never messaged me. You just ignored me. Do you want a two U space bar or do you want uh, do you want the six point two five? I know you answered six point two five over the seven U. Okay, so we're going six point two five confirmed. All right, can you uh, can you send me a picture of a nine ten that has the bottom row that you want, just so I don't have to plug my keyboard in to get it again? I know I've seen a 910 with a 6.25. I know I've built a 910 with a 6.25. I think probably for you, but I've not seen it in a while. So I wanna make sure I get the layout right. I gotta get the Tom spec going. Make sure it's perfect. Perfect. All right. There you go, 
like that. I'll give you guys a little bit more of a close up. So, who's new to keyboards in here? If you are new, welcome. Welcome, viewers. Maybe you're just new to me streaming. We did have the raid from, from Diego earlier tonight. If you guys have watched Diego, man, what a downgrade watching me. <laughs> Semi new, nice, Antares. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, by all means. I don't know everything. More often than not, when questions come up in chat, my chat answers. But uh, we've got a pretty, we've got a pretty good, helpful chat. I try and catch questions as they roll in here too. There we go. All right, those housings are finito. Say you're new to my streams and only relatively new to keys. Oh, Tree Slayer's ordering some parts for his first time build. Long time lurker? <laughs> burb. Burb is the word. Thanks, man. <laughs> long time, long time listener, first time caller. Oh, this uh this view I have the flipped camera too. Boom, 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 boom. Anyone snag a Bella today? Ooh, good question. Roz is uh, Roz is our number one, number one supporter right now. Roz has been hanging out in chat for a while with us here. Thanks, I'm Ray Me. Appreciate that. Appreciate the follow there. Um, stepped caps. Just do the standard nine ten bottom row with seven U. Easier than me finding a six point two five bottom row. Dude, we can do the six point two five. We can do it. We can make it happen. I'm sure we can find it. Chat, somebody find me the 6.25 bottom row for the 910. Somebody link that for me in chat. Somebody link me an image. With Zyko's leftovers? You're blowing my mind right now. What you talking about? What you talking about, Willis? Your name is also very dark, so it shows up as like black on black tracks in my chat. It's very difficult to see. <laughs> Zeal tops on all your switches. Ooh, there it is. Is that Brian Lee? Is that an image? Is that an image of a 6.25? Yeah, there it is. All right, Tom, this is what you want. Boom. That's what you want there, yeah? Yeah, it's the, it's the totaled up five 1.25s. Okay. So alternatively, with a stepped caps. So alternatively, it would be a 1.511.5 7U 1.5. It would look like this. This is what the other layout looks. Just look at the bottom row. Just look at the bottom row. That's what the 7U looks like. So I can do it like this, or I can do it like this. And that shows the that shows the split backspace properly as well. It would basically be the layout you're looking at here with a stepped caps lock instead of the standard. Do you want that or would you like something more like this bottom row with a split backspace? The world, the world is yours. We can do it, we can do it however. I also need to test this PCB real quick. So while you're potentially deciding on any last minute changes there, I'm going to plug this in. Can you guys see that? Look at the colors on that LED. It's probably too bright for you guys to see, but it's like, I've got green, I've got pink, I've got blue. It is all over the damn place. It's pretty cool. 
Tom, do you have an acrylic blocker for the 910? Because that will, oh, I just opened Epic Games Launcher instead of Elite Keyboards. Got to open up my old school EK switch hitter. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so Tom, with that acrylic blocker, this LED is gonna look pretty dope. You're gonna have like a cool color shift action here where you'll have the ability to uh, see multiple colors at the same time. It'll be pretty good. I think I tested part of this. But let's just go through. Shield your eyes from this guy. I'm like dying here. Home insert. Look at that. Home insert. That's a weird layout. They should be up arrow. This should be the shift key. Boom. This should be the enter key. Boom. Pipe. There we go. Does zero work? Zero does work. Oh, it's like blinding me. Blinded by the light. Where'd this PCB come from, Tom? Who did this? Who's responsible for this? Custom for sure. All right, so this one right here is not mapped to anything. I'm assuming that's probably your function there. Okay. Okay, cool. So confirmed 6.25. This guy here. That's our layout for tonight with a stepped caps lock. Boom. How about them apples? All right, let's go ahead. With that out of the way, it is very bright, brighter than my future. So wait, hold on, what are your Zykos? What are Zykos, feeble-minded? Is that a switch? Zyko is the most tactile switch I've tried so far. <laughs> Not gonna get rid of my Zelios or T1s. I've not tried these. Zeal bottoms, halo stems, and panda tops. Interesting. Sounds very tactile. More tactile than my weak hands can can work with. Am I correct in that assumption? None of the other parts are compatible with each other, so it's a shit ton of waste. Zeal tops? Yeah. Yeah, zeal tops. So you'd have zeal tops and a zeal stem. You'd have a full halo switch minus the stem, and you'd have panda bottoms and a panda stem. Yeah, I'm not thinking of anything that would work well out of that excess. That probably is just, a, as you said, a lot of waste. I can confirm. Yikes. Frankenstein switches. Oh my goodness. It's been a while since we've had a Frankenstein switch that really popped off. I think was the last one that really popped off the Holy Panda. There was the Holy Chickies for a while too, right? You guys looking forward to uh, to Dale's new Oxbloods? Cream Pacas? So is it a cream stem and an alpaca housing? Is that what that is? What about um, what about cream stems in a zelio housing? Have you guys have you guys tried that before? Those are pretty nice. I 
had a buddy at Tcon who had a canoe built up with some uh, some cream stems in a zeal housing and it was one of the smoothest switches I've ever tried. That's like $300 in switches for the Zykos in like group buy prices for a set of switches. Like if you're paying aftermarket for those things, that's gonna be pricey. So again, <laughs> I'll say welcome to anyone new in the hobby and may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> um, I say it all the time. If I was just getting into keyboards, I would have been priced out so long ago. I was chatting with uh, a friend the other day about this very thing. And I mean, just everything, artisans, keyboards, keycaps, switches, it's all expensive. It all moves quicker than you can buy it. Like, it's absurd. May God have mercy on your wallet. That's the follow-up to that as well. You've got that exactly right. Who said that? Gnarly Charlie. Yep. You've got, you've got it right there. It's just one of those things now. I mean... It's just a, it's a hype, it's a hype beast hobby now too. Like people just, there's so many. Okay, so here's the one thing though, chat. If you guys are watching and you're like, you're like paying attention to the hype, you're like, oh man, I need to get, I need to get a key cult with striker on it. <laughs> That's my dream board. Key cult number two with, with striker on it. Or I guess the Tifu build would be a number one. Um. There are so many good switches and, okay, so first and foremost, not that there's anything wrong with that. Like, you know, Striker's a nice set, objectively. It's way too expensive for what it is. I mean, it it's like a $500 key set right now. And that is absurd unless you're paying for something that's OG. With OG, I can understand that. OG can't get re-ran. But a GMK set, you you better believe they're going to run Striker round 2. With how popular round 1 was, they will rerun that set. Guaranteed. So Anyways, what I'm getting at is don't buy into the hype. If you're new into keyboards, do some research, find some cool stuff, listen to some typing sounds tests of people using switches that aren't super hype beast. Because you don't need to, like, people are flipping alpacas. Like, it's just madness out there right now. Like, any, any like, hype beast item, anything that people are talking about and is trendy, is something that if you're new to keyboards, you should not be buying. Because it's just overhyped too. There's other shit that's out there that's really good that that people just overlook because, you know, no one's currently building with it. Like, yeah, people are flipping everything. And there's nothing you can do about that. Like, that's a whole different conversation all on its own. Talking about flippers and price gouging and people, people, you know, buying into things just with the sole intention and purpose of reselling them. Like that's a whole different topic for another day. Approaching this conversation purely from the angle of we might have some newer people to keyboards in chat. Know that there are things out there that you can get and have a lot of fun with and have a very, very good experience on that will not absolutely break the bank. Sure, key cults are awesome. Key cults are nice. TGRs are awesome. TGRs are very nice. Um, you know, the 
Iron 165, the Satisfaction 75, the N Dash, all these keyboards that are like, you know, impossible, like unobtainium pretty much, right? Unless you like have an in somewhere or just want to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. They're all very nice, but you can get a keyboard that sounds awesome and looks awesome and is custom tuned to your, you know, wanting without spending thousands and thousands of dollars. And if you're just jumping into the hobby, that's what you should absolutely be trying to do. There's so many good things out there that aren't hyped up. <clears throat> I don't think Mech Market would ever put a cap on, uh, on, on what you could uh, pay for an item. Um, cause people would just leave. People would be like, you know, people would sell their items, you know, you'd get, you'd get more and more posts that are like, this is not a first come, uh, sale and here's the price. And I'll, I'll pick the, you know, the winner in 24 hours and you know, they're just getting messages for like double the price. The person just takes the, you know, top silent bidder. All that's going to do is just add more uncertainty what things are actually market valued at. In my opinion, dielectric grease like super lube is fine. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're talking about stabilizer tuning. Um, uh, so 205G0 or dielectric grease. Um, uh, I use 205G0 because it has a lifetime shelf life. Um, super lube I also use in a lot of stabilizers and inject into them. We actually had a really good result from super lube last week with this 910. And so I'm going to do another super lube tune as well on this guy tonight. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the, the 205 G zero will, will have a longer shelf life than, than the, uh, than the dielectric grease will. So that's just why that's the primary reason I use that. So, yeah, and I also use this super lube to kind of like pump into the front of the stabilizer. You just have to work it in. You just have to work this guy in. Like once you use the super lube to inject in like I'm doing right now, you just have to work it. Work it on in there. Yeah, Rama boards are, um, are on limited buys as well. So Rama will generally open up his group buys for a full month. And so you'll have an opportunity to buy a Rama board, which is a very, very nice top tier board at a reasonable price. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he opens that thing up for however long he feels like. Um, Rama's nuts. He pretty much has his manufacturing down to the science now to where he can pretty much run infinite options and colors and everything else and he just takes every order he wants he's like sure i'll make money also i missed it a second ago i want a thank you very much for the two months i appreciate that thank you thank you i missed that i almost missed that i almost scrolled off i was focusing in on chat there raz you posted it Google Docs as well. I'm wondering what this is. Is this a budget friendly switch data sheet? Ah, there we go. Price per $10. Yeah, that gives you certainly a lot of information. What are the ones that are bolded? What do bolded means? Ah, bolded is meaning sold by vendors as of September 2020. So this looks like a pretty good document. Um, Raz posted this up if you scroll up and chat a little bit. This will give you a lot of information on switches here. Switch name, variety, yeah. Yeah, you'll have the abilities to like, you know, you can turn on, I mean, uh, okay, dismiss, let's do type, boom. You can grab, I love Excel too. We can do a uh, data sort. Now we can do a filter. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do, uh, damn it. I wanted to filter. Whatever. 
Google Sheets. That's fine. Yeah. Shout out to Epsilon Keyboards. Thank you for that. That's a nice resource. Do I have screws in here? I have somewhere in here a bunch of screws. Or screws in. Oh, some washers. I'll put these washers on because why not? I do have to say OG die subs are the stupidest thing I've ever bought. Uh, what do you mean? Why are die subs the stupidest thing you've ever bought? I'm a big fan of OG stuff, Jacob. All my, almost all my personal effects are, oh. Oh, well they, they are though. I mean, I don't know, preference, right? Someone who's got the preference emote on uh, unlock. There's definitely, uh, there's definitely something to be said for the materials and the, the feel of the plastics, right? Um, I really, I really do like uh, OG die subs quite a lot. You told yourself you would never play flipper price for anything, huh? How's that working out for you? So far, so good. Have you made it so far? Are you holding strong? Good luck on that. <laughs> Yeah, I know, uh, I know I've certainly paid my fair share of flipping prices. I try not to flip anything. So if I've paid flipper prices for something, ultimately I just hold on to that item. Like I only pay flipper, flip, flipper prices for something that I know I'm probably going to keep. <laughs> like I paid, I paid flip price for my Jamon set. My Hamon. Which is actually still built up. I actually just got the Gateron ink replacements we needed to fix this. Do you guys remember this build? This is the KBD-75 build that we had from a couple of weeks ago now at this point. We had to get some replacement switches. The client needed to send me replacement switches so that we could uh, fix the leaf issues that we had had. Those actually just arrived today. GMK Oblivion is beautiful, but that said, get Monokai material. That's very close. It's a very similar set. You've also got a whole lot of sets that play off of that same style coming out. Dracula and Nord and Future Funk. Those all kind of have those, those cool uh, accented alpha colors on the, or not alpha colors, modifier colors, the texts. They're pretty cool. So I agree though, I like I like that style of keycap a lot. It's actually what we just built the, we just took that off. We just built the 910 up and Tuesday, or Thursday of last week. And that had the Oblivion set put on it. What do you guys want to build tonight with? What do you want to put on the board tonight? We'll have to do a poll tonight. Yeffy, are you gonna be around? Can you run a poll for me on what keycap set we should do tonight? I wish I had KA 2017. Anyone have KA 2017? Um, I will give us, I will give us a whole myriad of selection. I have quite a few we can choose from. Ease issue. I haven't gotten anything new in lately, so I'm totally fine with with letting chat decide what keycaps we use for tonight's build. I prefer to not do Oblivion again though, because we did just do Oblivion. 
but I will leave it up to, to, to chance. I will leave it up to fate completely. You guys will decide. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get these in here. Clean up my tray real quick and then... Did I update that right? Did I put the build in there? Yeah, it's the pink. It's the pink top. The SE that I have has got a TGR pink top with a black bottom. Here's the color of the top. It makes it difficult for selecting keycaps because it's kind of a unique pink which is why I love KA 2017. My daily build for this is just WAB. I have a very boring WAB set in here, but WAB is life. And you know I've got more WAB if we want to put WAB on it. All right, let's put this before I lose it back in here. We are gonna be so hypercritical of these stabilizers tonight. I want these things to be perfect. So let's get it going. How's music volume tonight, chat? Do I have, uh, do I have everything balanced, sounding all right? You know what? Camping gets requested a lot on stream. I do not, I do not have camping. Oh, I also want to do, we need to do a mod real quick on... That is one of those sets. Oh, awesome. Okay, cool. That is one of those sets, camping, that is, that I have not gotten and I refuse to pay flip prices for it. And so I will pick up camping at some point. It'll just, you know, it'll take time. So, which is the strategy you should use. It is the strategy you absolutely should use. This hobby has a tendency of providing you with what you're looking for, for a decent price, right after you pay flip market prices on it. Isn't that the truth? Tell me that's not the truth. Tell me you haven't paid flipper prices and then a week later your bot goes off for that same product and it's like $100 less than what you just paid for it. <laughs> and you're like, damn it. <laughs> You'd like just sat down at your keyboard, the bot just went off, you just are like, you're like, oh, I'm here, I'm ready. <laughs> And so if you're like me, you purchase it for that. You purchase it for that and then you just have two. <laughs> uh, it is so true. So trust me, if you are new to this hobby or newer to this hobby, be patient. Trust me, you will find what you're looking for and you will find it for a reasonable price, I believe. Somebody is out there with exactly what you're looking for at exactly that same, that, that right price. It's not every time, but I feel like it's close to it for me. Like anytime I pay flipper prices. Uh -huh. All right, so chat, what we're doing here real quick is Grabbing a little bit of this oil. This is just a, uh, this is just like a little spot treatment oil. This is a Victorinox multi-tool oil. It's a Swiss army knife oil. And what I use this for is just quick little treatment on the spring. I've got a cherry 90 gram spring here. This is the same spring that the G80 vintage boards got shipped with. It's not exactly the same, but this is pretty close to it. This is pretty close to the same weight. GMK Bento is pretty solid. I have a Bento desk mat. I don't think I actually have Bento though. Man, you guys are naming all the sets I don't have. 
I'll call them out. I'll call out all the sets I have that would work. Sumi would be dope as well. Yep, I can't wait for that. I love the Sumi. Oh, that would look good too. The navy blue with the pink. That would look really good, Rabius. I love bento too. Yeah, I haven't had an opportunity to buy bento yet. So I would pick up a bento set as well, uh, but not for like, basically I'm on the lookout for like any good GMK sets always. Um, I don't know if you can see my stack back there, chat. You see the shelf full of GMK trays all the way up? That is about, that's about, that's about 80-ish or so percent of my keycaps. I have a bunch of other stuff that's actually dressed on keyboards. But that's pretty close to about 80% of what I have. All right, we've got our switch film here, pretty close to centered. Chad, have you guys had any experience with the uh, with the desk key switch films? I'm telling you, I destroy about one out of every ten of those desk key switch films. So no, no, no ping or anything like that. The spring is top notch here it's top marks. All right, we're going to switch it up here. I'm going to turn this down. Whoa, Bueno. What's up, dude? Thank you so much for the raid. What's good? Hello, chat. Hello, newcomers to chat. I'm going to mix it up real quick. I'm dying a slow death by asphyxiation of the ears here right now, chat. I'm gonna put my IEMs on. Too warm, too warm in my office right now. To have those, to have those pads on. Between the light boxes and everything else, they are destroying my ears. What's good, Bueno? Thank you so much for the raid, my dude. What is good? You guys are tuning in at a perfect time here. We're just finishing up some stabilizer tuning. We just tuned up our uh, space bar switch and we're just about to test our stabilizers. Hope your, uh, hope your evening is going well. What were you up to tonight? This is the first Monday I've ever streamed. And I am so much more pleased at the activity we're seeing tonight. Tuesday nights are brutal. I was streaming Tuesday nights before and there are just too many people on Tuesday nights. Mr. McGurk, you put desky films on the top switch housing. It was a lot easier this time. Just brace the film in between your thumb and index fingers. You snap it together. That's an idea. I was putting it on the bottom housing for sure. And that was destroying me. I was like, seriously, I was losing like one out of every 10, if not more. It might have averaged out to like two out of every 10 that I was losing. I was getting destroyed. Yeah, like they just shift a little bit and the films are thin enough to the point where like they don't maintain their form. And so they just crunch right on down with the switch. Yeah, I'll definitely try that next time. Thanks for the tip, man. Hot tip, hot tip, there it is. Tonight's hot tip has been brought to you by Mr. McGurk. I have so many switches coming into lube and film. There you go. You've got your you've got your evenings cut out for you. I have issues with them sifting 
out of the back of the switch. Oh man, it didn't matter if it was the front, back, left, right. They were they were moving around all over the place. They were doing the honky tonky on me, just kind of just all over the damn place, anywhere but where they should have been. So I didn't see. Also, what's up, Changasaurus? Good to see you, my dude. I usually put on the top housing for all films. Yeah, so there we go. There's another There's another top, top housing film master. How about that? I didn't know about this. It's similar to how I didn't know that there were some people who tuned their stabilizers by painting the stems of the stabilizers as opposed to the housing of the stabilizer. I had no idea people did it that way. That was totally foreign to me when I found that out. I, of course, am part of the housing lube master race. If you're a heretic who lubes the stem of their stabilizer, you can go ahead and get on out of here. <laughs> I do both? Oh my god. You're crossing, you're crossing enemy lines here, Iza. You're jumping back and forth between two different camps. <laughs> so somebody explained to me that somebody explained to me that both does get a better coverage, and I can understand that if it like shifts a little bit, maybe, but I don't think it shifts that much. And the housing doesn't get my fingers dirty, and I don't have to worry about a picker then either. So I just, I roll with the housing. Housing only for, for neat tidiness. I like both, sue me. Your lawsuit's already in the mail, Yeffy. I've got, I've got somebody, I've got someone coming to serve you tomorrow. Don't go anywhere. The lawsuit will be delivered within 24 hours. Yeffy, I'm glad you're here and actively typing. I'm going to utilize your services here this evening to put up a poll for me so that we can figure out what s uh, keycaps we're going to use tonight. Keycaps. I almost said switches. I know what switches we're using. What keycaps we're using, though, I do not know yet. So we need to figure it out. Already lawyered up? He's better than yours? No way, dude. No way. I've got the best. Good luck. Good luck. See you in court, sucker. <laughs> yeah, if he stole back my GMK Shoko. You mean isn't that isn't that uh, GMK Elsa? That's what I'm talking about, Yeffy. Raz was about to take your job if you weren't gonna if you weren't gonna do it for me. <laughs> Dennis, what's good? Good to see you, buddy. Yesterday afternoon, I saw someone using something called a four-prong jewelry holder to hold the switch stab. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, so I've seen that. I've seen that one as well. Uh, you cry too much. I uh, I've seen those pickers being used. I have one of the pickers from TX, and that also is truly game-changing. Here's the ones from TX. They don't have the little like four pronged things, but they basically just grab the stem and hold it like so. I don't know if you can see that, but it does a pretty good job of grabbing the stem there. That's not going anywhere. Yeah, those ones you can get for a pretty good price too. Thank you so much for the two months there, Dennis. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, chat. We're just putting our switches in to the PCB right now, making sure everything is sitting flush. Don't let me don't let Max fool you, he's never lubed a switch in his life. That's true. <laughs> but I've got it on good authority. <laughs> 
No, my my switching my switch lubing, dude. You better believe it. I'm I'm the number one switch luber MA. Everyone everyone tries to copy copy my my the feel of my lube switches. Here you go. Aesthetically pleasing as well. Let me show you, chat. You ready? You ready for this build? Let me show you here. Let me show you what kind of match we're working with on, on my switch lubing tuning builds. Can you see this chat? Look at this. Not only do we have the Duroc purple, but we have a purple switch film inside that G80. That G80 West German VIN. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't think we were color matching? You better believe it. Here it is from afar. It's got the purple film, the purple stabilizer, and the violet on cream. Ooh, 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 ooh. Why not East German? I'm all about that West German. <laughs> See, and and let me let me give you a history lesson. In in West Germany, the women are much more supple and they provide oils and greases that you simply cannot find in East Germany. And so when you're looking for the smoothest lubes, you have to go to West Germany. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> uh, what do you mean, man? That's, that's PG-13. I'm just saying. <laughs> I've just lost like, I just lost like 20 viewers. 20, 20 viewers, yeah, at least 20 viewers had parents within earshot who just said, you know what, this guy's done. We thought this guy was a family friendly streamer. Turn that thing off. Turn that off, Timothy. Why not High Rose Oranges? Because High Rose had issues with the stems. See, the, the Cherry brand in West Germany was almost rivaled by the High Rose. However, the High Rose brand had issues with girth. And so when the stems interfaced, with the holes of the keycaps, the girth, the girth just wasn't there on the stem. And so, <laughs> and so high rows couldn't, high rows couldn't keep up. They weren't, they didn't work well enough, you know. The smoothness was there, but man, it just, uh, it was too small. <laughs> I'm done. I'm so done. <laughs> Until TOS starts to pick up. <laughs> Um, all right, before I before I load, I'm getting distracted. Before I load this whole thing up, let's see what <laughs> let's see what these let's see what these switches sound like. Um, I got a six point two five on the space bar. Six point two five. If it sounds good on this, you know it's gonna sound good on the real deal because is it this guy? Do I put it on the one? Yeah, to the left. Sounds good on this guy. You know it's gonna sound good with GMK or something OG because... Wait. Wait a minute. Nope, it needs to be over. One more. You Swiss cheesed PCB. I don't know which one's which. Up is down and left is right. All right, there, flip face bar and regular space bar will work. Oh man, Campbell a thousand. Oh no, there's no max oofs. 
Bree doesn't have Bree. How do you not have any max hoofs? That's heresy. Yeffy's Yeffy's stolen all your points, hasn't he? Yeffy is going on to give himself. He's cleaning out. He's cleaning out your points. That's what happened. Yeffy had a big Yeffy had a big time gamble earlier tonight. Oh, I'm not even using the two U backspace. What am I? What am I doing there? There's an enter key and there's a shift key. Alright, let's see what the sounds like. Oh yeah. There's the pog. The pog win there. Alright, mute that. Mute that for me as well. Ooh. That one sounds good. Does sound girthy. Oof. We're Gucci on these, I think, chat. Did that sound as good for you as it did for me? Did anyone else? Did anyone else just move from six o'clock to midnight? <laughs> this is definitely not a PG 13 stream tonight. <laughs> uh, who got that joke? <laughs> Do you only use 205 for your steps? No, so I use 205 and then Super Lube. Who is the moderator of this Christian Minecraft server? I I would like to voice a complaint. <laughs> um, I don't think I've marked my stream as safe for kids. I mean, it is though. It's just nuanced fun, you know. It's all in good taste. It's like a, it's like a, any classic Disney cartoon. Watching, watching Shrek as a parent is so much more different and fun than watching Shrek as a kid. So many jokes go straight over your head, you know what I mean? <laughs> Ooh, Yeffy. There are wins to be had on the roulette table right now. The table's looking hot. Is Yeffy gonna try his hand? Is Yeffy gonna gamble all? Yeffy, you won't do it. What's up, Key Realtor? Good to see you, buddy. Oh, see, that's when I jump in. Once I see someone lose, that's when I'm like, time to go. Should I gamble all? There is literally nothing on the line this month aside from you having fun. So gamble everything. Let your degenerate side run wild. Um, ooh, there's a red Alice for sale. Oof. How much are they asking for it? That was the question, Bueno. Whoa, Bueno. Or not Bueno. Dennis. Dennis is cashing in. 4K? 4,800? Oof. That's a, uh... That's a big oof. I, uh... I don't have that kind of money. See, that's what I'm saying. This, this hobby would've... would've priced me out... long ago. If I was just coming into it now. Too rich for my blood. As well. Uh, the mat was actually a gift to me by 
the ever so lovely moderation crew of Bree and Yeffy. But it's off Amazon. You can find this mat on Amazon. But because I did not purchase it, I do not have the exact link. Sorry about that. I, uh, I do know they found it on Amazon though. It's a good, uh, it's a good bottom row there. That's looking solid. Okay. That goes there. That goes there. I just missed something. Shiba Keeb, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. And he wanted stepped caps lock, which we do indeed have. We are good. All right, we've got our beater caps all dressed up on the board. We are ready to solder. Let's go. Ah, Shiba Keeb, did you just post it? Uh-huh, yep, that looks like the one. There you go. Link checks out. Link indeed checks out. Thank you, Shiba. Appreciate that. Yeah, there's a couple of different, like, variants there. Um, but this one is nice. I like this one because it has, it has, like, all sorts of little parts holders. Um, it has all sorts of magnetic places. Like, so there's a magnet. Here's a magnet. Here's a magnet. And here's a magnet. So there's magnets all over the, the mat as well to hold on to like stabilizer screws or hardware screws, all sorts of things. What's up, Sam? Good to see you, my dude. After a few drinks, I might list a Craigslist ad for my car to buy that Alice. There you go, Dennis. <laughs> yep, there you go. That's the big brain move right there. I mean, just quit, quit your job. Stop going anywhere. Just sit at home and stare at the Alice. That's, I mean, right? What, what else would you want to do? I mean, if you have an Alice, you're not going to want to go anywhere. Going anywhere without the Alice would mean leaving the Alice behind. And that, that would be heresy. Oh, I almost put those springs away without zipping the bag. That would have also been heresy. How do you like using icy pullers for switches? Using the Rama puller, but not impressed with it. Um, I have a couple of different kinds and I use both actually. So the Rama puller is about as flimsy as a box of tissues, uh, but it is really nice for getting into those harder to reach areas on the plate where uh, you've got your case like very close to it. And so I use both. I've got the Rama pullers as well as the IC ones. So, but yeah, I mean, you can see these guys just, I mean, they just, they bend so, so easily. But you see how, you see how the profile of it allows you to really get in there a lot easier with the Rama ones. Lowell's was supposed to do a K's build stream 30 minutes ago. Oh, is he, is he unable to stream tonight? He streamed so many of those case builds though. That keyboard is so cool. Somebody get me a case. Put this way too. Oh, okay. Nice. So see, there you go. There's another, there's another keyboard streamer on Tuesday nights. I'm telling you, chat, Mondays. Mondays are the way. Mondays are the way. Yeah, definitely. I, uh... Because I'm struggling. Like, Tuesday nights, you're, like, competing against everyone and their mom and their dog and everyone else, like, to, like, to get viewers. Like, there's so many people streaming keyboard content on Tuesday nights. Monday, I think, is pretty good so far. Ungodly design with the follow. Thank you very much. Welcome. Oh, Kose. Kose is how you pronounce it? Okay. Thank you, Sheeb. Appreciate that, Sheba. Do you guys see the do you guys see the location here? Do you guys see this? So Tom, are you in chat? I'm signing your PCB. 
Kaze. It's Kaze. Am I pronouncing that right now? Kaze. I'm totally pulling a gone move and I'm signing it. I'm signing this PCB after we build it. <laughs> this will be the this will up this will up your this will up your resale value, Tom. <laughs> uh, or maybe it'll tank it. People will be like, oh, that's such a nice looking board until they see that's been signed and built by me. And then they're like, oh, pass. Hard pass. You're gonna have to pay someone to take it when I when I finish with it, Tom. What was the um what was the signature uh what was the name of the character from Silicon Valley that when he he put the Gavin the Gavin Belsing signature series? <laughs> that's how I'll that's how I'll sign it for you, Tom. <laughs> uh. Oh, Dennis, you were you were going in on the gambling tonight. You're uh you're getting it done though. The table's being pretty good to you. It's pronounced koozie. I like that a lot more. The koozie. Oh no, Sam. Sam is like me right now in Simon's stream. I go in there. How many points do you think I've lost total in that stream, Sam? You're still number one, right, Sam? Do you still have the number one amount of points? I think I've probably, I think I've probably lost a couple, I, I think it's five figures. Yeah, I think I've definitely lost five finger, five figures worth of points. Cause I was up to, I kept gambling all and I was up to like 12K at one point. And then I gambled all at like 13 or 14K and I lost everything. But I just pop in there and I just gamble all every time. There you go, Shiba. Roll them all. Oh, but that was after that was after losing them all and getting getting back to that point again, Yuffie. Oh, Yuffie's number two on the leaderboards. Yuffie, you were down there for a minute. You had a big you had a big gamble all there for for a bit. <laughs> number one is Roz. Number one is Roz right now. Uh, you can check. You can scroll down, Dennis. I have it listed. The max oofs are a category you can you can sort by down there on the stream elements leaderboards. Um, doesn't mean anything this month, but I'm gonna give it a month of promotion, like I'm doing here tonight. Next month, the month of November. If you are number one, by the end of the month, we will be doing a giveaway. I'll probably do a couple giveaways in December. Like we'll do like a giveaway for the top point earner. We'll do a giveaway for just a couple of random things. But like I'll probably have like, maybe I'll give away some like, maybe we'll give away like a keycap or some key, maybe like a GMK set or something. Maybe we'll give away like a build service, you know. Who knows? We'll just reach out. We'll reach out. We'll see if we've got anything in the hopper. But I'm overdue to do another giveaway again. All right. We are just about ready to get started soldering here. I'm going to go ahead and move that over. Move this up. Hopefully, I don't destroy myself here. Let's see if we're going to have a dented stream tonight. Chat. If you can't hear me in two seconds, my microphone will start working again in about two minutes. Hold on, let's see here. Hello, test, test. Oh, we just lost camera. My microphone is still good. I'm just being so still. You guys don't even know. I'm the stillest person. No one's seen anyone stiller than me. <laughs> dented stream is dented. Camera should be back. Can you guys, can you guys see me? Can you? Can you see me? Can you see me? 
All right, and I need to check and see if RTX voice wants to work tonight. It didn't want to work last week. I rebooted the computer though. Let's see if it works tonight. Don't switch, remove background noise, and y'all ready for this? OMG. Dented stream is no longer dented. We've got RTX voice working. Aw, oh, yeah. Ungodly design. Let's see here. Max F has mastered the art of standing perfectly still. It's like my specialty move. <laughs> Max F invokes perfect stillness. <laughs> ah, there we go. No one sits still with me. Damn right. Engraved metal keycap. That would be dope. Can I engrave my own design on this? Ooh, I got the design. This is cool. I would love to get I would love to get my own logo on one of these. That's very cool. Thank you for linking that. Do you do you have a so it's a accent your keyboard with a laser engraved keycap featuring your own design or logo? Cherry R1 profile. It's 6061 T6 aluminum, type 2 anodized, made in California, ships in three to four weeks. Heck yeah, dude. Very cool. Thank you for sharing. Dude, that'd be awesome. So you donate a custom engraved keycap. Very cool. Dude, ungodly design. Thank you so much. Hit me up in uh hit me up in Discord. I've got that linked down there below. And uh and yeah, I will I will absolutely DM you here after stream tonight. Or you don't need to do that work too. Yeffy. Yeffy, message the man on Discord. Message him on Discord. Do the work for me, Yeffy, so that I so we don't we don't need to make him work. You message him and then connect the dots so that I remember to message him. Because I might, I'm subject to forget. <laughs> oh, are you not, are you not on Discord? Or are you trolling me? <laughs> okay. I'll allow it. The guy's the guy's donating, so I'll allow it. <laughs> you get to be you get to be a total jerk if you're if you're donating things to stream. <laughs> All right. Very cool though. I uh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get one made myself. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my logo. I'm gonna get my avatar logo, the M. I'm gonna get that engraved on a keycap for sure. For sure. I love that. It's a great price too. So nice. Yo, what's up, Jans? Good to see you. Uh, it's going pretty well. We're uh, we're building a 910 tonight. We finished stabilizer tuning, testing the PCB, and we're just getting to the soldering portion here now. Perfect time. So chat, I'll give you a zoomed in view here. Right now. There we go. We're just doing uh, a little bit of work here on the sides and corners at the moment. So we've got pretty good connection points, I will tell you already between these switches and the PCB. But I always I always try and hit at least the sides and corners with uh with I call it I dub it the Woden method. Woden was the first keyboard streamer I ever watched and so I call it the Woden method. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here on this side. So on these switches here on the left side, if you're new to soldering or keyboards so there's two pins on the bottom of the switch. I am I am heating solder onto one of these two pins. 
for these switches here on the left side now. Well, it's the left side when you turn it right side up. It's the right side as you're looking at it here on the camera. And let me show you. What I'm doing is I'm ensuring that the bottom of the switch there has a good contact point with the top of the PCB. So as I've got this, this one joint hit here, I'll heat that joint up to turn that joint molten as I'm pushing the keycap down on it. And then I'll let it go as I'm applying pressure still, pushing that switch down on top of the PCB. So that will just basically repeat for all of these switches here. What we're doing, just kind of going right down the line, making sure that the four corners, as well as these two sides now, have got that same technique applied so that all around the PCB, there's no separation. Like you see how I like, like I could separate it a little bit if I like pulled it apart here, you can get a little bit of separation. Even then though, it's not really doing it. Thank you so much for the tier one, you cry too much. Appreciate that. Welcome. All right, so that said, we're pretty good. Like I don't see much separation between the switches here. So now that I've got those four corners in and the sides, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty confident we can kind of just now, we can now just go row by row all the way down the PCB. So we're sitting pretty tonight. I still don't know who made this PCB. This is the HANA 910 Rev 1. You see it there on the bottom left? The HANA. Who's HANA? Yeah, that's about the only technique you really need to know. Is Hannah Team McLovin? Is that really true, Dennis? Because we showed off the newest Team McLovin PCB earlier tonight as well. We showed off the house PCB on stream, as well as a sneak peek at the house, the house keyboard by Hand Engineering. Oh, no way. Okay, very cool. So this is another PCB designed by them. Very cool. Well, I was just about to say, I like this PCB. If for only the reason that it does not have ALP support on it. <laughs> and so... I am enjoying not having to put a million bits of solder into each one of these joints. All right, so the sides are done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom row first because I'm a heretic. We're gonna work our way down this bottom row first and then we'll do the top row. And then we'll set everything up in the middle in no particular order, but I'll probably work top to bottom, left to right. Because that's just what I do. So welcome everybody for, uh, for all the potential newer viewers here in chat. If you've never seen a Max F stream before, let's start there. My name is Max, I go by Max F, and I do keyboard-related content about twice weekly. Mondays are a new evening for me, which so far, so good. I've been normally known to stream on Tuesdays and Thursday nights, but I wanted to try Monday night out because I feel like every keyboard streamer streams on Tuesday nights. So, I mixed it up. I like Monday night so far. What do you think, chat? I think chat's been pretty good tonight. I think we're having I think we're having fun with Monday. I think I'm gonna keep Monday. And then I I don't know if we'll do if we'll continue to do Thursday or if we'll if we'll maybe mix it up and do Wednesday. This week is gonna be Thursday though. So I showed you guys also the house prototype, 
that is going to be your build for Thursday night. So I have got some brand new switches. The, the kind of dramatic banana split switches, um, which are a new key company switch, will be going into the oops, keyboard. Yeah, this is pretty good. It's looking nice and straight. It's looking good. Yeah, it is a good day. Does pressing on the PCB while soldering not stress the joint once it cools, or is it very light pressure? So, Beast Division, uh, the technique, if that's what you're referring to that I was showing you a minute ago, uh, I'll show you again. So, basically, I, I add solder to one of the joints. Can you see that there? I add solder to one of those joints. I heat that joint up. So, right now it's molten. I push, and then I take the iron off as I pushed and then I release pressure. So now this is solidified and it's pushed in. It's not going anywhere. I've got a great contact point and I'm good to go. At this point, there's no pressure being applied. Um, I, the only way I would see you having pressure is if you had a not good contact point and you had not made it molten and you were pushing the switch through. Like if you were pushing it with a with a switch soldered without a good contact point, then yes, that would definitely put pressure on your PCB and you would run the risk of pushing this whole pad right up off your PCB. But when you make it molten and only have one stem soldered, you're not putting any pressure on the PCB as long as it is truly molten, as long as that joint is molten. Um, but yeah, you do want to be careful. You do want to make that joint molten before you push it down. Once it's, and once it's, yeah, I mean, once it's soldered in, yeah, I mean, you're already, you've already got a good contact point with your PCB, that considered. So yeah, you're not really going to be able to put any pressure on the switch perspective to break that joint um, after the fact. That would be would be very impressive if that happened. You'd have to be like the Incredible Hulk. Points are just racking up. Dennis, where are you at right now? 5450. Dennis, you are on a roll. You are on a roll. So yeah, I was starting to do my my shill there for a second. So uh, so again, yeah, I think Monday nights are good. And then this week will be Thursday night. We'll see. We'll maybe switch it to Wednesday night in the future. But for now, Mondays and Thursday nights, I think, will be our nights going forward for keyboard content. And then the occasional extracurricular stream kind of thrown in from time to time. Pretty much any time I get too much to do. I throw in that extra stream. And I'm getting to the point where I might have too much to do here soon. So I might get an extra, I might do a third night, uh, maybe next week. I don't know. Anyways, to figure all that out, to make sure you catch me when I'm live, you can count generally on Mondays and Thursday nights, but join up in the Discord. You'll always get a ping on that. Discord is linked there below, underneath the socials, I think. Do I have it underneath the socials, Yafni? I think I do. Um... If I don't, I should. I definitely have Discord in there if I don't. Um, but anyways, thank you guys. If uh, if you're new for tuning in tonight, and by all means, feel free to uh, to ask any questions, be it keyboard or other related. While I go over real quick, a couple of sponsor announcements. So we've got GMK Noir running on projectkeyboard.com. You guys can find a link to Project Keyboard down below. That is a referral link that goes a long way to help me adding content and 
getting fun giveaways and doing cool things for for stream. So if you are feeling so inclined, next time you're on Project Keyboard, use that link there and that, that helps support my stream. And also have a consideration for GMK Noir. That thing is beautiful. At a bare minimum, I am getting that scattered looking desk mat. That thing is so nice looking. We're also sponsored by The Key Company. The Key Company is my go-to source for stabilizers, lube, any accessories. They're constantly running artist collab desk mat sets, which are just awesome looking. Um, I believe there's a new one coming out from Alex Otos here in the next couple of weeks. They've also got Infin is it Infinikey Comfy? I think it's Infinikey Comfy is currently running. I know it's Comfy. I, don't, I think it's Infinikey, not GMK. Infinikey Comfy is currently running on Alex Otos. What's up, Alex? Good to see you, buddy. Infinikey Comfy is currently running on the Key Company. Dot com. You guys should absolutely consider it. It is a beautiful set, which, as a matter of fact, I think, Alex, I think you've shown that one off on your stream. I'm loving Infinity Comfy. Looks really, really cool. If you guys have not tried any Infinity sets, you absolutely should check into one of them. They are very, very nice, high quality PBTs. I think they are the only PBT this day and age, aside from OG Cherry that I can wholeheartedly recommend. I can wholeheartedly recommend Infinity. I've got a couple of the sets sitting right behind me. I've got white on black with those Apple modifiers, and I've got a Infinity Sanctuary Rebirth, which also is pretty awesome. We got Alex in the house. <laughs> Rumor has it Alex shows up every time you mention his name. Or he's like, he's like Beetlejuice. <laughs> Alex Otos, Alex Otos, Alex Otos. He just like appears behind me on camera. <laughs> All right, I got distracted. All right, so the key company definitely check them out they're linked down below <laughs> thank you to the key company for the, all the support over the past couple of months since you guys started sponsoring me and then let's move on to mint autumn mintautumn.com and jack static guys we talk about jacks every week if you're not in jack's discord i don't know why how about yeffy Shout out to Yeffy and the rigged bongo cat win. <laughs> Jack Static gave away a bongo cat the other night in Discord. And if you weren't in his Discord, I mean, come on. I'm trying to tell you guys, you missed it. You missed your opportunity to win, the, win a bongo. It was a good one, too. Jax is an awesome guy, though. He is absolutely deserving of your support. He's just one of those designers that gives and gives and gives. He's very, very nice. And you probably know him from the Rukia keyboard. Jax has got projects up and coming that you are not going to want to miss. Make sure you check out his website. Definitely join his Discord for announcements. And stay tuned for updates on mintautumn.com. And then, last but not least, we are sponsored by ZealPC.net. ZealPC is your go-to spot for Zealios, Telios, Zeal stabilizers, lubricants, man, all sorts of things. It's about time for Zeal to be releasing that three-in-one switch. I wonder when that's coming out. I wonder if he's back to the drawing board on that one. I haven't seen updates on that one in a while. I know he was playing around with a clicky tactile and linear all at one. But anyways, zealpc.net, you can find the promo or you can find the referral link down below for them as well. Next time you're on their website checking out, make sure you click that link to support yours truly. And thank you, thank you, thank you. His mustache tingles every time you say his name on live. <laughs> what, Alex's? <laughs> his mustache is just like twitching it like curls up real quick <laughs> somebody just said my name 
<laughs> uh. He woke you up to talk about it? Nice. Nice. Totally worth it too, I'm sure. Yeah, I love I love the Bongo Cat. I've got a couple of them. Liam Liam doesn't rig things for me though, so I only have a couple of Bongo Cats. <laughs> I wish Liam I wish Liam could rig things for me. Maybe maybe he'll make maybe he'll make a cinnamon toast crunch bongo cat and maybe he'll rig that one for me because i suggested that one <laughs> a man a man can dream a man can certainly dream Chat, you have no idea what i'm talking about if you're like bongo cat what is this guy smoking here is what we're talking about how you are these caps? Bongo cat. Get this cute little freckled face. <laughs> I love bongo cats. All right, we're almost there. Uh, yeah, that's the hunting. That is indeed that. I'm praying for that for that trash panda any any fans of gaff in the uh in the crowd tonight anyone enter in for the latest for the latest gaff sale i am i am praying with all my might i'm a bit of a monochrome collector and the trash panda colorway that is releasing right now is is black and white it's a huge cat that would fit so nicely in my collection i would love to add one of these into my box a man can dream Gaff is one of those artisan creators that I don't think like newer people in the hobby know too much about. I feel like Gaff and Clack and like KWK, like I feel like I feel like you have to like be a little bit more tenured in the hobby to know what I'm talking about there. Like, I think a lot of people come into the hobby and they see like I feel like Latrium is really popular. Um, obviously, Hello Caps are very popular. I think most people know what the Bongo Cats are. Um, what other what other artisans? What else do you guys think? Lufi, thank you very much for the follow. And Ghostbeat, thank you as well for the follow. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate that. All this high quality artisan talk got people got people interested. What is this guy talking about? And the short answer to that is I don't even know. Art keys, yeah, art key is the hotness right now. People are trading their kidneys for uh serious. That cat, there was like there was like a month when that cat came out where he had a couple of sales and people were not going as nuts over them. And I knew then, and I unfortunately, I didn't get lucky then. I used to be able to win art key all the time. Man, I have like zero chance of winning an art key right now. Those serious caps are so in demand. Salvin and Rama too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, the quality of those key caps that those guys put out are so good too. So polished. 
I love the, uh, I think one of my favorite Rama caps is the, the vapor wave, uh, Rama cap. That almost sort of like color change metal turned out so nice. We're just about there, chat. Almost done with the soldering here for this evening. We've got this last row here. And, uh, and then at that point, we're going to, uh, go ahead and plug her in and see what we got. So far, so good. The night's been really good. Helven, how are you doing tonight, buddy? Good to see you. This is, uh, this is, yeah, this is a new night for us. And so I think it's been, I think it's been going really well. We had an early, we had an early raid from lightning, which always helps. But I just overall feel like there's a lot less competition on Monday nights. And so I'm liking it. I'm digging Monday night. I think I'll keep it. I think I will keep on keeping on Monday nights. Someone say Ramakas? Oh boy, what do you have here, Yuffie? Oh, that high, high, high cap. Dude, that enter cap is like selling for as much as a key cap set is right now. It's crazy. Twitch algorithm sent you here. Well, hello, Doug. Welcome. Twitch algorithm, huh? Oh man. Sorry. <laughs> uh, that's it. We've started to hack the system, Twitch. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow there, Savage. A savage goose. That's funny that the Twitch algorithm sent you here. Like, do you do you have an interest in keyboards, Doug, or or like makers and crafting like type hobbies? Because if the Twitch algorithm was just like this guy would love keyboards, <laughs> that's that's ice cold that Twitch is doing that. Because we've been talking about it already a little bit today. Man, I would not want to be getting into keyboards right now if I was if I was a newbie. I keep saying that too. I probably shouldn't. I keep ordering. I, I keep. Or you recently ordered some starter kits. That is sus. <laughs> you ordered some some starter kits on Amazon, and all of a sudden Twitch is recommending you keyboard stuff on <laughs> on 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 your stream that's kind of funny totally sus it's trying to get you to buy more stuff don't do it don't do it i'm gonna i'm going to ruin twitch from ever sending anyone else to me again they're like looking at me right now they're like oh this guy can help us sell things <laughs> don't buy anything doug don't do it don't listen to the man fight the system <laughs> Uh, and then Andy, Andy, thank you very much for, for gifting Doug a tier one. <laughs> I've committed for you. <laughs> now you'll, now you'll see me pop up on your left hand screen every time you're on Twitch for the next month. <laughs> uh... All right. We are done with soldering for this evening. Pending, I didn't ruin anything. Let me just give it a quick visual inspection. Make sure everything is soldered in here. I have not, Jessup. I have not joined the group by for that yet. I am poor right now. 
That is a solid board though. There's no reason if you're in the market for a 65% to not consider the Rama M65. I've had an M65 in the past. Um, I no longer have a Rama M65. My Rama M65 went to, oh, it went to somebody. It went to somebody I know too. Who went, who has my Rama? Oh, I don't know. Good board though. My Rama, my M65 was actually built by Simon. I think I was the first Westerner to ever have a black Simon board. I traded him my, I traded him my Duck Viper. I have built a U80, however, I do not have a U80. Hopefully, chat, hopefully my camera and my microphone stay with us here. If they don't, the microphone might fail. If that does, it'll be back in two minutes. Hold on, let's stay here. Test, test, one, two. Hey, hey, we're good. All right, we can turn RTX voice off. Let me go here and turn that off. Boom. And let me go here. Properties. Boom. There we go. All right, RTX voice is back off. Yeffy, do you believe that? Scuffed stream is no longer scuffed. All right, chat. I'm going to go refill my water. We'll test this PCB as soon as I get back. And away we go from there. Alrighty. Any big moves? Anyone win big? Okay. All right, chat, let's do this. Let's check and see what we got here. This is one of those PCBs that is gonna like blind me. It is so very bright. Okay. All 
I wonder what the Mech Lovin team uses for boot. If it's Boot Mapper or I'm gonna assume it's QMK. I don't have that mapped. It's definitely a weird layout for sure. Okay, but we're done there. The PCB is good. And that means, that means now that we're built, we're about to put it in the, uh, we're about to put it in the PCB. But first, first things first, this is the Max F Signature Series. F signature series. Did we ever decide the keycaps? No, Yeffy, it's the time. It's time for us to go to work and decide on keycaps. All right, so chat, I'm gonna give you a couple of different options here. The keycaps we have available for this build tonight are, we just did Oblivion, so let's not do that one again. Um, I've got white on black. I've got Hyperfuse, I've got, and it's a pink top. Let me remind you of the top color. So here is the top color for the build tonight. So that is the color you need to decide what keycaps we are putting on this. All right, so we've got Hyperfuse, we've got Vaporwave, we've got, um, we've got Hamon. I would need to take Haman off of another board to put it on this one, but that's fine. We can do Haman. We can do Violet on Cream. We can do Analog Dreams. We can do Waves. We can do Bingsu. We can do Night Runner. Um, I've got some NCR die subs. I've got the GMK Royal Alpha, the Royal Triumph Adler Alpha. Um, I've got beige, um, I've got a couple of, like, I've got a couple of CRP sets we can do, um, let's see here, alright, so do, uh, Yeffy, let's start, let's start the, the poll with Bingsu, Analog Dreams, um, throw on some CRP Peacock, um, throw on Haman. Yeah, Haman might, Haman would look kind of weird. I don't know if Haman would work. It, like, the pink and red would be kind of a clash. Um, so I don't know if that would work. Violet on cream would be kind of weird too. The purple with the pink would be kind of weird as well. You guys like Haman? You think Bingsu would match? So yeah, throw in there, yeah, yeah. So throw in there, throw in Bingsu, throw in Haman, throw in Analog Dreams, and throw in CRP. Just show in like CRP Peacock or something like that, and we'll figure it out. We'll leave voting open for a couple minutes here while I put the case together. The Bingsu set right now is a pain in the butt because it's on my physics. So I will need, if we vote for Bingsu, I will need to take it off of my physics. But we can do that. So there's Bingsu. If you guys vote for Bingsu, that's what that would look like. Yeah, being Sue a hundred percent, take it off. <laughs> well, vote and we'll see what we get. Let's see here. Yeah, the poll, the poll is up, chat. The poll is up. So go ahead and chime in with whatever keycap set you would like to see on this build here tonight. While we're doing that, I'm going to 
get everything else on my desk cleaned up. In the time we've been hanging out, since I unplugged this and stopped soldering, we are 100% cooled off. I love this iron. So that's the TS-80P. I am not sponsored by them. I do not get anything from them for free. I just like that iron. Thank you very much for the follow there. 303 in and quiver. Thank you very much. What audio interface? This is the Audi 2, the Audi 2 DAC. Kind of a DAC and amp combined, but uh, but yeah. Uh, mode obscure. Thank you for the follow as well. How many more minutes do we have on this thing? It looks like Bing Su wins. Show artisan cap from fourth column on the right and second row down. Show artisan cap from fourth column from the right. One, two, three, four. And second row down. Oh, this is uh this guy. This guy's a pain in the butt to get out. This is a CYO keycap. I can't remember what he called this cap. This guy's kind of fun though. Um, there you go. Kind of has like this funky like two-face thing going on. All right, so Bing Su won with 12 votes. So there we go. Yeah, he kind of has like an inverted like nose and face and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of cool. But yeah, Andy, the guy who makes those CYO keycaps, he uh, he knows I'm a monochrome guy, so I have the full I have the full set of monochrome stuff from CYO. I've got both uh, black on white and white on black, and the and the blank. So he's he's hooked me up with those. He's local. He's a local lad. He's over in Maryland. Alrighty. Alright, chat. So Bing Su it is. I've got to take it off of my physics to put it on this. So be it. Max F will always give the people what they want. Oh nice, Isa. That's what's up. Yeah, I uh I have got all sorts of friends in the hobby in the Maryland area as well. We have little local mini meetups every now and then. I am uh, I am also your local meetup coordinator. So, man, I miss meetups. Um, but I am I am the Washington D.C. meetup coordinator as well. So I run. I run that event, um, and so you should absolutely join the District Keyboard Discord as well, if you're not in there already. Yeffy, are you in there? Can you link that Discord too? I used to have the District Keyboard server linked in Twitch, but I don't anymore. I think I stopped linking that. Cause it like, it didn't, it didn't hundred percent apply. What the hell? Yeffy, you're close enough. You would come to the DC meetup, you know, if it weren't for Corona, you need to be, you need to join that server as well. Tell you what, Isa, give me just a second here. I will, I will go over there and I will link it my damn self here in just a minute. And then Yeffy can join it as well. All right, chat. So this normally, this case is normally a top mount design, uh, but I just used a little bit of shelf liner. That is enough to push the plate uh, into position. 
I don't have any mobility in the plate then, and I like the sound of the 910 when it's a bit more muted with the liner installed. So that is how I roll with my 910. The White House has more cases than in my country. <laughs> wow. That sounds about right though. They've just not been taking it seriously, you know? It shows you what happens when you don't take this thing seriously. Bottom of the board is ridiculously good looking. Yeah, this is a fun, this is a fun one, Yeffy. You get to show this one off a decent amount. Oh, my favorite form factor is probably a TKL, uh, Jessup. TKLs just have so much more space for sound reverberation. Generally get a better signature from them. Um, but I, I 65% are a close second for me. Um, and then the 60% very closely behind that. 60%, 65%, either way, I'm okay. Like, I I can really, I can do 65% arrows, no problem. And so, for me, personally, yeah, TKL first, though. First and foremost, I'm a TKL guy. All right, so, yeah, this thing is the, the mismatched black bottom pink top what at 60 I never use a 60% with arrows um, I use only the canonical layouts for 60% and in my opinion there is one and only one proper 60% layout I will show you what it is and of course this is just preference, but this is the canonical 60% layout. Anything else other than this, then it is no bueno in my book. <laughs> it is it is an abomination, Izu, but that's just my opinion. Give keycap, thanks. What, my clack? You trying to steal my only MX clack, bro? No way. Or my Dolch. You trying to steal my Dolch set? That's uh, that's an OG, that's an OG Dolch set. Where's your split backspace? Here, here's my split backspace on this client's board. <laughs> this is the layout I normally use on this board. So, 7U 1.5 with a 2U backspace and uh, stepped caps. That's the way to go for me. I use so many OG keycaps that compatibility becomes an issue if I start using anything other than a 7U and a 2U and so I use 2U backspace and 7U space bar on literally everything I put on my boards because I have quite a lot of OG keycaps. What's up, young? Perfect timing if you're just tuning in. All right, so yeah, Bingsu, 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 Bingsu won the vote. So Bingsu gets to go on the board, which means I will need this, and I will need to steal a whole bunch of keycaps from it, and I will also need some others, but we can start with this. This will get me pretty close. This will get us pretty close.
Where's my, oh, there it is. I need one of those artisan keycap pullers. Those things are so nice. Hope client owns Bingsu because he's about to buy it if he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. Well, this is uh, <laughs> this is my 910. And so we've actually built this PCB and plate in my uh, in my um, case uh, because the client did not give me his case which speaking of Tom I don't know if you're here right now you need to send me that terminal 910 next time we meet up you should give me that thing so I can show it off on stream because that thing I've heard is beautiful the client whose build we're working on tonight um, has a caustic anodized uh, 910. What switches are those in the Alice? Uh, so this is a uh, physics, um, and these are the Soho. These are the Soho switches on a carbon fiber plate. They've been stickered and lubed with 205. This doesn't look too, too bad. It's kind of a clash, but it kind of, it kind of works. Oh, right, right, right. That's true. <laughs> That's true. I am just a boomer. <laughs> I always say stickered. It's such a force of habit. I say stickered every time. And people are like, what are you talking about stickered? And then I'm like, just tune the switches. Are the switches tuned? And people are like, what the hell do you mean by tuned? I mean, are they tuned? Have you lubed them up? Have you filmed them? Have you put the spring swap? Have you, you know, tuned them up? That one surprises me more that people get confused by it. If I say, have you tuned your switches? You should know exactly what I'm talking about. I say it to like the secretary at the office. Oh, this Dell keyboard, this Dell membrane is so nice. Are these switches tuned? She looks at me like a fucking idiot. <laughs> no, you read it wrong, kimchi. This is this is a one of three. This is not one of my three. This is my one of three. Yep. So I only I only own one 910, but there are only two other 910 SEs out in the wild. The 910 Doge edition. There are not many Doge editions at this point. <laughs> Imagine, right? <laughs> nice, dude. Never that. What is up, Kimchi? It's good to see you, my dude. Whoa, big raid from Hugo Keys. There's Poggers in a chat. Yo, let's get a link back to Hugo Keys. Chat, if you're not already following Hugo Keys, you should be. You absolutely should be. Thank you so much for the raid there, Hugo. Good to see you guys. Welcome to stream, everybody. Yuffie, link this man's Twitch. What's going on, homie? No excuses, Yuffie. Get up in there. Wait, how did I get swapped over one? What's happening here? Where does my Z key go? Oh. <laughs> Who sees what I did? <laughs> Rip. <laughs> oh, man. It's just... It's just too early. Or too late. Or something. There's something wrong with me. 
We're good now, though. I'm like sitting there looking at it. I'm like, there's a Z key here, and there's definitely no place to put the Z key. Here, I was about to do this. There, Z key goes there. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. The extra B key. Silly Max. All right, we will do a function key here, and we will do a page up and a page down here. I'm digging that. And then these are 1.25, so there it is. Thanks, Yeffy. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you again, Hugo, for the raid. I appreciate that. Chat, follow Hugo if you're not already. Dude is a champion. Let's go. Thank you very much for the raid again, Hugo. All right. Um, what do I want to do here on this guy? Let's get the other, let's get the rest of Bing Su out so we can actually build this thing up here. Um, and Bing Su. Put the physics away as well. A card says hello. What's up, a card? What's going on? Oh yeah. So Hugo, what were you up tonight? I didn't see if uh you were hanging out with us here at all, or if you had to roll. Also, Suishiro is up in chat too. What's up, Suishiro? Chat, if you don't know already, Suishiro is where we get our cables from, and it's where you should get your cables from too. All right, um, what are we doing here? What do we wanna do for the top right. I want a pipe key. Pipe and tilde to polish this thing off. And then do we have a backspace instead? We do have a backspace instead. I think that's I think that's about right. Does that look good, chat? What y'all think? Boom. We did it, chat. We did it. <laughs> Distract him with a stainless number two while you break into the TGR vault. <laughs> nice. I had no choice, that is correct, Yeffy. Split back, but no delete. Um, yeah, I mean, delete could go on here as well, um, but I don't know, whatever. <clears throat> we're good. We're good. I think, I think we're good, right, chat? I think we're good. What do you, what do you guys think of this color match, though? I think it's a little off. Here's our build for tonight. Definitely a little off, but it's not too bad. My light oof, is way too bright right now way brighter than my future I'm trying not to get that glare chat sorry does the video does it make it look it says it makes it look spot on says voodoo bear okay i'm thinking i'm thinking it, it needs a little work i'm looking like the doge right now Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. All right, let's see. This is a this is a fun PCB too. Let's do 
Let's plug it in. Oh yeah, can you guys see? I don't know if you guys can see right now. That 910 is lit up a myriad of colors right now. I don't think you can because it's too bright. But there are, I've got like pinks and blues and greens and stuff showing up on that thing. That's pretty cool. It's too bright, it's too bright. I need to turn the brightness down so you guys can actually see it. Okay. All right, let me go ahead. This plate definitely sits up higher in the case. There we go, maybe now it doesn't. Okay, cool. I think we're good here. Let's go ahead and listen. Have a listen. Let's start with some modifiers. Yeah, kimchi, the top right LED has like four rows of four LEDs. bright it's too much for the overhead camera the camera can't handle it hold on let me let me go here does this have does this have uh, via on it if it has via on it already it does not rip it does not have via on it so you won't be able to see it it's too damn bright it is brighter than my future just trust me on that you see how it kind of, you can kind of see it's different colors there. It's pretty dope. And it sounds, it does sound like a keyboard. Trust me on that, definitely sounds like a keyboard. <laughs> Let's listen to more of this keyboard. Let me go here. And to monkey type. There we go. Mute that. All right. It sounds like a keyboard. It looks like a keyboard. You know what, chat? It might just be a keyboard. Did my M6 get cucked? This no longer works. Where's my... Oh, what in the world? Let me transform, reset. This one goes boom, boom. Sorry, chat. Bear with me here for a second. And unlock that. Hopefully I don't DOS myself here on any of this. Let's go here and here and here. I didn't have anything. I didn't have anything on that right screen that you guys couldn't see. We're all groovy. Let me go here. And boom, boom, boom. Let's clip that there and, oh, hold on. Oh boy. 
There we go. That would have about to have been bad. I'll have to fix that later. I think right now it's ugh, really miniature. Let me reset this again. Hold on. This is annoying. Uh, reset. And then go Alt. <laughs> that mech market meme. Okay. Let's see here. It's not a good display capture. We definitely need some help. It needs to be over here more. You guys are looking at this and like, what is this damn idiot doing? It needs to be over here and smaller like this but smaller I promise chat there's a method to this madness we're gonna get it working we will do this boom 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 there is this good I think this is good now I can't really tell. It's up too high up here. There we go. Now I can kind of see it. It was better before. All right. Does it, is it okay? Is it good? I think it's good. Is it scuffed or are we okay? I think it's okay. <laughs> It's halfway scuffed, but it's okay. I just don't know why things like reset on my screen and I don't know why. I think I must have like changed which display is primary and I think that's why. <laughs> is this incubrated? Kind of, not too far off. <laughs> I need to, let me lub lubricate myself here real quick. There we go. This is going to drive me nuts. My OCD gets triggered there. There we go. Boom. I think we got it now. We have Mark fighting with marbles. Oh, hey, Mark. Yeah, I'd say I know how to make a 910 sound pretty good at this point, kimchi. I've done like 20 of these.
That space bar sounds pretty good. Has a nice pop to it. Okay. Scuffed. That typing sounds window got scuffed big time. I'm gonna need to figure that out at a later date. Remind me I need to look at that Yeffy later. All right. Chat, we did it. What do you guys think? I think it sounds pretty good. Um, where are you cutting your palm plates? Uh, so Saturn, I'm not sure where the client actually got this from. Um, this was aftermarket, obviously, not something that TGR offered. Um, and so uh, probably Mac market though, you can probably find a myriad of people doing it. Stream for another like four hours, but just do typing tests, please, and thanks. <laughs> I can do a couple more typing sounds tests. <laughs> um, how does Palm feel versus FR4? I've never tried Palm. Um, I mean, kind of similar. It's a similar sound and aesthetic, or a similar sound and feel. Um, I mean, it all depends too on it all depends on too on what you're using with it. Um, JWKs plus plastic plates are OP. I can absolutely agree with that, Kimchi. That's it. That's a safe assessment. We've got another one to build too. So my personal build, when I do mine, I'm gonna be using an FR4 plate. So I've got an FR4 plate to go into mine. It's pretty similar in terms of flex. Like there's not much of a difference in the flex there between FR4 and POM. I would like to source, if I could, a, I would love to source a palm half plate for the TGR. I think that would be a really nice move. That'd be a good way to go. Did you check out that art I linked you last weekend? Um, oh yeah, dude, I did. Um, I'm following. Uh, I'm following one of those guys, the mute on guy on this on Instagram. He posts a lot of stuff too. Um, yeah, I like I like that stuff. I was very impressed with a lot of that work. I might I might pick up one of his prints. He actually does like I think he actually has like originals that are a decent price. He's pretty cool. Um, yeah, thanks for those thanks for those tips for sure. Uh, can you compare this one with your Doge 910? This is my Doge 910. Um, yeah, so this is this is a customer's yeah, as Yeffy said this is a customer's PCB and plate. Um, give me one of your 910s and I'll do a palm half plate. Don't miss out on this exclusive deal. <laughs> Nice. Uh, so this is a this is a pink this is a pink 910 um, with uh, the black bottom and the stainless uh, stainless steel and brass combo there for the weight with the Doge engrave on the bottom. Yeah, it's kind of. Uh, it kind of works. It's definitely a little bit of a clash, but it kind of works. I didn't think it was going to look this good. I'm actually surprised. Um, I normally I normally rock this plate in here. This is a original TGR uh, plate with a uh, with a set of uh, vintage switches, vintage black switches on this one. This is one of the this is one of the earliest round. 910 PCBs, I think. This one does not even have, yeah. This is the V1 PCB. Cause it just has the, it just has the quad cube and the TGR logo, the old, the OG TGR logo on it. So this is the, this is the first round of PCBs that went out, still intact. Unlike my blood caps, which like to go flying off the board. Just that one Dante. That one Dante. Please remove and put Peacock. <laughs> um, I don't think I have... I don't have the Peacock on anything right now. It's CRP though, so it's not, it's not the good one. This is the good one here. 
This is the good one here. I'll do a typing sounds test on this one since kimchi was asking. I don't normally do this, but I know Tom doesn't care. I don't normally like do other typing sounds tests of my keyboards right after, right after doing um, a client's, but I know Tom doesn't care. Tom's like, yeah, whatever. Let's see if this one works. Yes, it does. Okay. All right. Let's see if I can do a non scuffed typing sounds test here on this one. Um, yeah, Suishiro made this one too. Um, why do I keep losing? I keep losing my. It also seems like my monitor is over a little bit more for. Oh, wait, hold on. I just. I literally just lost my webcam. That's a rip. What is going on on this scene? What is happening here? Why is that turning off shit? Ay ay ay. Oh, because it just moved. Did the A6500 just move above everything? It sure did. It sure did. I don't know why that just happened. Lock that. Okay. Do I have that over far enough? Okay, I do. All right, this isn't in the right spot though still. Let me fix this. I want that there. And that there. I haven't typed on this one in a while. Yeah, yeah, the LED, the LED on this PCB activates every time I type. Okay, so what we can do is we can bring this in and bring this down and bring that up, clip that there and enlarge that like that. That should look better. I still want to be able to move this down to like right here. So bring this guy down a bit more and this guy in a bit more and then bring that up there. Oh, that's too big. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. That's much, that's much better much less scuffed. All right, now I can see chat with, there we go. Now I can see chat with monkey type open. Okay, cool. Yes, this is, this is a Corsa. Oh wait, do I still have, let me turn this off.
What else should we do? What else should we do? What else should we do? Should we do the the unicorn? We could do the. You know what I think is probably my best sounding board right now. I haven't done this one in a while either. I haven't done this one in a minute. So this is the that uh, the oh, the Corsa is built with Vint Blacks, by the way. If you were wondering, you could probably have guessed. But if you were wondering, all right. So here is the one point two. Does that look good? Yeah, that's that's there. All right. So here's the one point two with eight thousand eight on it. Um, which needs to be rebuilt. I actually don't like the sound of this one as much, but this one feels good as hell. It's just got like, it's got this like leaf crunch, I feel like in the space bar. That's just the vent, that's just the gat inks. Like the gat inks just do that. just be like that. Do you guys hear that? It sounds like my stabilizer is cocked. It's actually just a switch, I think. I'm going to rebuild this. I think I'm going to rebuild this with Gat Ink V2s. I'll do, I'll do one more sounds test, or maybe two more. I'll do two more. I'll do the unicorn, and then I'll do the, yeah, that would be good, Isa. I'll do the unicorn, and then I'll do the, I'll do the jaguar. Because, yeah, the jaguar turned out nice. The jaguar turned out nice for sure. The unicorn is definitely a good one as well. The unicorn gets good sounds on it. It's just a rip with the cable all the way over on the left side there. Okay, all right, so here's the unicorn. Spacebar's got a pop to it. Uh, yeah, these are the these are the bum wipe. These are the bum wipe stems um, in cherry housings. So these are bum wipes and retooled. With uh, these have got the sixty two gram uh, cat wayway springs in it. I haven't done a, I haven't done like a full, 
I haven't done like a full range of all my builds in a while. So that one's cool. This one though is purdy. This one we've been dailying for a while here now. What's up, Dalman? Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, it, it does. It turned out um, looking a, a lot better than I anticipated, uh, truth be told. Um, we did a poll for what keycap set we were gonna use tonight. And, and you know, truthfully, when that one won, I, uh, I did not think it was gonna look that good, but it turned out okay. These ones are tuned so lightly on the switch and they're broken in so nicely. Like you can probably hear more character from the switch on this than you have on any of my other builds tonight. So this one, it just, it's just lighter. It, it's tuned so much lighter than the other ones. Is that right? There we go. It's tuned so much lighter. Like you can hear, you can hear the actual switch character in this one a lot more than this one. Like, don't get me wrong, this one sounds fantastic. But you have that thicker lubed sound to that one. Whereas this one, You just get a lot more of the switch character in it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's 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 pretty fun. It's pretty fun. I've liked I've liked this uh, this Jaguar build. I've been as I mentioned a minute ago. I've been daily in this guy on the uh, on the desk here. I've had this one. I've had this one rolling here for uh, for a couple of for a couple of weeks now. I think. Um, yeah. Good luck if you guys can get one of these. If you guys can get one of these Jaguars, they're super super nice. Yeah, I love I love this one. Let's see if I can show you guys. It's just the Jaguar that lights up. The Jaguar engraved portion of it is the only part that lights up on stream. <laughs> and in the side profile, you can see it on the side. Same thing on this guy. But yeah, this is uh, this one's been going in and out of buy here. Um, I do have the foam on it now. Yep, so this is foamed. Um, the green jaguar ooh that's big brain right there if you can get one of those go for it that's an easy clap but that black on black polycarb like once elaine said that she had that that's just so unique i had to get that plus i've got another board coming in olive that will be very similar um, and so i didn't want to i didn't want to double up on two on two olive tkls so, all right, chat. Anything else you guys want to hear? Um, I think the only other one that, I think the only other personal build that's worth hearing right now of mine is this guy. 
but we cannibalized Bingsu off of it tonight to build up the uh, to build up the 910. So I need to put Bingsu back on this guy. Honestly, it sounds pretty similar. Like these are the Soho, these are the Soho switches on this guy. So, yep. So it only shows the Jaguar because yeah, the liner is in there, feeble-minded. I had it built originally without the liner in there, and so yeah, the liner's in there now. So, yep. Elaine actually, Elaine actually forgot to send me the liner, and so she had to send it to me later. Arp, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate that. All right, chat. Let's find somebody to raid. Let's go. Who do we got raiding? Who do we got here? Oh, so gym leader Nathan, but he's playing. Is he playing Pokemon or is he actually building something? Andy is streaming right now too. Do you guys want to? Do you guys want to raid Andy? Ah, you were about to raid me. Oh, I would have just, I would have been like training it. Had you raided me, I would have raided Andy almost immediately. <laughs> yeah, let me see. I'm just seeing what gym leader Nathan's doing. It looks like he's opening, it looks like he's opening Pokemon cards right now. <laughs> yeah, he's opening, he's opening Pokemon cards right now. Is he, is he building? Let's see if he's building tonight. So many of the... Bro, you building tonight? Yo, what's good, Max? Um, I'm not gonna be building tonight. I'll be oh, tomorrow. no build. Okay. You guys wanna raid? You guys wanna read Gem Leader Nathan? He's not building tonight. He's opening up some Pokemon cards. <laughs> or we can raid. Or we can raid Andy. What do you guys think? Oh, he's desoldering a special build for an upcoming stream. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's desoldering uh, a U80, it looks like. If that's what, if what he's working on is what's in front of him. He's desoldering a U80. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, Nathan. <laughs> oh, is it a mode 80? Ah, mode 80. Okay. Okay. Wait, LZCLS. Now I'm now I'm all sorts of confused. Does he have a CLS? He's taking the part of he that's definitely Is that a U80 or is that uh a mode 80? I can't tell until he takes off the stabilized key. I can't see which one it is until he takes the stabilized key off. I used to have a CLS. That's a good board. Any CLS available? Damn. I would love to have my LZ CLS back. I had that thing built up with some Ergo Clears. It was so nice. All right, let's raid. Let's raid Andy because we raided Nathan last time. So we'll spread some love. We'll spread some love. We'll raid Andy this time since we raided Nathan the last couple times. Let's go Andy. Start raid, there we go. All right. Oh, Ark just raided me. Ark just raided me with a party seven. Hey everybody, welcome. Um, uh, the timing is no bueno. I, uh, <laughs> I actually just finished streaming. Thank you so much for tuning in though. Follow me if you wanna catch me when I stream next time. I will be live on Thursday night with a prototype build. I will be building, let me see if I can show you guys this before it times out and switches us over. I will be building on Thursday a another keyboard right here. If you guys saw earlier in the stream, you saw this. But this is the this is the house keyboard that we will be building up on Thursday. So make sure you guys follow and tune in for this build Thursday night, the USB-C compatible house. 
very similar to the 9-10 we did tonight, right? Anyways, we're just about to go and time out here. So thanks again, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Ark, thank you for the raid. Everyone, we'll catch you next time. Join up on Discord. I'll check y'all in a couple of evenings. Have a great week until then. See you, everybody. Bye-bye.